Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to the podcast, another episode of Caffeine and Green with your man, Cardinal Cardinus. And per usual, before we get into it, today I want to make sure that you guys are headed to... Caffeine and Green. You gotta keep going. <laughs> no, okay, that was a fail. But today, yes, guys, I'm making sure that you guys are headed on over to Caffeine and Green at 3072 El Cajon Boulevard. That's right, we now have our own coffee shop that is right here in the heart of North Park. And that's right. If you guys want to pick up any of the coffee that you hear that me talk about, that's that. It's a blend. It's dark. It's chocolatey. It's bold. We also have my homies right here. The Shield, the Smag, the Morning Sesh. What's up? <laughs> yes. With Nick and Ruben. That's right. It's a collab. It's a single origin Wheela Columbia. And then we also have the Notorious. It's a single origin black honey processed natural coffee. It's very complex. and It's very, very sweet. It's amazing. So, guys, cruise on through to Caffeine and Green today, 3072 El Cajon Boulevard. Yep. Yeah. All right. My guests today are nobody new to the podcast. That's right. I'm talking about Shieldless Mag. That is Nick Shields, and that is also Ruben Barrick. Neither of these gentlemen have been uh, strangers to the podcast. They've been on the podcast at least two times. This is the third time now, and things have changed. It's been about two years since they have been on the show, and things are doing really well for both of them. And to tell you the truth, it was a lot of fun to drink with Nick while he was on the podcast because he has been sober for the last couple of years. So without further ado, my homies, Nick Shields, Ruben Barry, this is your time to shine, homies. Let's go. And we're live. Yes, live sir. again, dude. Live for the again. three uh, fucking Pete, son. Otra oh, vez. Wait, hold on. That's a crisp uh, canned cocktail, in case you couldn't tell by the sound. I prematurely cracked mine because I was so excited <laughs> una vez, una to get vez. back into the hot seat. <laughs> uh, Connor needs a good one, yeah. Boom, I was drinking my beer. <laughs> I, finished I finished it because I was like, damn it. Salud, most. Salud. 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 Tequila is only right for you. Tequila Ranch Water by yeah, Jinshine Spirits. Yeah, thank you. This doesn't, uh, thank this you, isn't Jinshine. Kombucha. Nope, it's a canned cocktail with Yo, tequila, so I'm sparkling so water, real juice, and natural flavors. I'm so happy we're drinking like liquor instead <laughs> of beer. I was yeah. telling Ruben before, but when he was at the shop earlier today, I was like, "Bro, I can't drink any more beer." <laughs> <laughs> I just like I've been drinking so as I'm drinking a beer. Though, I, I was drinking a pale ale. Yeah, this is a good summertime beverage. Yeah, right it's eight percent alcohol, but so we're, <laughs> we're gonna get a little toasty. It's like a double IPA yeah. that tastes a like double a IPA. Hey, margarita. well, it's really just hats off to us because this is our third time being back here. We're so happy to be back. Thank you for having us again, Kano. Of course. So this Thank is you. really just to treat ourselves. You know, we we earned this. <laughs> Dude, no, you know what it is. Too? It's like we're it's actually our time to shine, homie. This That's is the time to shine, homie. <laughs> Where we did the the last time we did it in October of 2020. Oh. October 14th of 2020, and we were at your house. Yes. Yes. At my house. And on that note, fucking congratulations, dude. We're yes. sitting in your coffee shop right Yo, now. I'm for real. That was funded sign, by sign. Kickstarter. Come on. Under a neon caffeine and green sign. That's fucking sick, dude. Congratulations. Yeah. This Thank shop you, is super dope, and I tell everybody about it Thank you. whenever I get a chance. Yeah, I, I really do the same. It. The coffee speaks for itself, but the atmosphere you provide, it is amazing. It is a dope ambiance. Nobody is doing it like Kana at Caffeine and Green, so mm. come on down. <laughs> El Cajon Boulevard, North Park, where I grew up. 3072. That's right. El Cajon Boulevard. Shout out the address. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy, man. You're doing real good things for the neighborhood and good things for the community. And uh, as a North Park native, I am very proud of you and I'm so hyped to represent this business. Yes. And uh, yeah. I'm so stoked for you, man. This is awesome. Thank you. I mean, dude, on that note, I think uh, kind of both of your notes about the community. Uh, it's one thing about coffee is that you always want to try to create a community and create a sense of, um, I don't know, just kind of like a safe place, but also a place for creative ideas and for people to uh, be enlightened and inspired. And I really do feel that um, one thing I wanted to bring up was, uh, uh, oh shit, her name's Amanda. 
Lucy Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucy Love, yeah. Yeah. She is going to be on the podcast uh, in a couple weeks. Shout out to her. Yep. And Shout uh, out Lucy Love. I want to do like a comedy show here. Like we're going to do like a private comedy Sick. show. And it literally all happened because of Ruben. Oh. Like. He's got yo, the connects. I'm definitely going to bring it up. But like, <laughs> I don't know if she'll hear this, but I definitely <laughs> saw her on the dating apps before. So that <laughs> when, I, when I, when I, for somehow, whenever I came across uh, her. I was like, yo, I've seen this chick before. And then I seen her Instagram and I was like, oh, I've definitely seen these photos on, on Hinge. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, but then like she's a comedian and I was like, this is dope. And then uh, she walked in randomly one day. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, what's poppin'? And yeah. she's like, yeah, I saw this video on my friend Ruben's page and I wanted to come in. I live right down the street. And I was like, dope. And then I was like, you're a comedian, right? Yeah, I would love to have you on the show. This is super sick. And it's another opportunity just to do another thing that I love. So, again, Ruben, Hell yeah. fucking coming through, bro. Hey, just trying to uh, bring cool, like-minded individuals together. That's what Caffeine and Green facilitates. Uh, <laughs> and it's crazy, too, because it all it all starts in, like, working culture, too. Like, I've known uh, Lucy Love for a minute. We used to work together at Nordstrom back in the day. Yep. Um, that's how she met. Always thought she was super cool. Uh, and she's killing it in the comedy game right now. She also is at the Rabbit Hole uh, pretty much every Tuesday night. That's where she goes and does a lot of her open mic nights there. She usually co-hosts. So if you get a chance, go check her out there or see where else she's performing around town. But, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm always happy to bring the homies together. That's one of my main things in life. I always try to make sure everybody's hyped and, you know, trying to just create a collective space for people to share ideas, man. It's important. Yes. And then uh, Nick. Nick Shields. Actually, do we no. even introduce you guys? Sorry, we just like just for <laughs> everybody who doesn't know who they're you so are. They're so familiar. I mean, Dude, I feel like do we need an introduction? <laughs> I mean, at this point, we <laughs> just for anybody who is new to the show. This is Ruben Barrick. That's my man. I was just talking to you right now. That's me, y'all. Hey. I'm I'm Ruben. Hi. That's Rubes. The Wax Daddy 666. No, not anymore. No, that's that's what it was last time. That what was that's what it, dude, I've changed. I think every time dude, I've been on the podcast, I've had a different been. Instagram handle. So that's that's really a timestamp. It shows how much I've grown and accepted my Jewish heritage fully, wholeheartedly. Although I have to give credit because uh, Dane uh, my friend Dane Berman, who I love very much, he came up with the nickname Mazel Tuff, and I loved it so much. And I was like, all right, I'm going to change that for sure. Uh, Wax Daddy was was dead. Uh, <laughs> Wax Daddy is deceased, unfortunately. <laughs> now it's Mazel Tuff. Mazel Tuff. I like that name. He's still too. waxing spots just as much though. <laughs> 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 but now and then we got my man Nick Shields over here. Just in case for everybody who's not familiar, it's my man Nick Shields. He's the other half of Shieldless Mag. That's Nick me. Shields, welcome back, sir. Thank you, dude. Thanks okay. for having us, dude. Of course, of course. But so one thing I want to start off with you, sir. I mean, because. Uh, I think there's some congratulations to throw right back your <laughs> way. Uh, since the last time you were on the podcast, you have since gotten engaged. Yes, sir. When Thank are you getting you. married? September 3rd. As in Coming like, up. Okay, yeah, it was like yeah. a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, oh, like uh, 44 days or some shit. Oh, know. but who's counting? <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, you have the website and that tells you what it is, like oh. where people go to RSVP and shit. You, you like got a stuff. website? Son? Yeah, dude. That's how people do it nowadays. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, you're a fish. Do you have a hashtag? Uh, yeah, Rose Shield is our hashtag. That's right, <laughs> Rose Shield. Yeah. Recognize, yeah. recognize the Rose Shield taking over. Yeah. Dude, that's tight. My my fiance's handle is Rose Rampage, and so Rose Shield is the hashtag. And yeah, dude, Instagram handles yeah. really be real life, now. <laughs> like straight up. Yeah, like I had a the other day this girl, <laughs> I think her name is a uh, Ophelia. Her name's Ophelia. She fucking, Sick I walked man. right up to her and she was like, she like gasped. Like, You're the caffeine and green guy. I was like, <laughs> I, my name's Kano. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, yeah, and then like somebody like on a separate occasion, another person was like, are you is a Gucci thing? I was like, <laughs> yeah, but my name's Kano. Nice to meet you. Like, dude, yeah, it's not, funny. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's not real, but then it's like the more it happens, it's like, um, well, hmm. Okay. I guess I am that that name. Well, yeah, you put yourself out there and yeah. But it's like it's weird when people I mean like I feel like I put my name out there enough where it's like if you actually see me in public you'd be like, "Yo, what's up, Con?" No. You know? Like, <laughs> you know, but not like it's a Gucci thing or caffeine and green, you know what I'm saying? But like, I yeah. don't know. That's just a thought. 
<laughs> yeah. but you start dude, saying your name more and your <laughs> I, I like stories. to hear my name just a lot more and dude, <laughs> shout out to any latinas out there I, <laughs> if you say my name cano the way it's supposed to be said i'll melt so that's, just you know that's right uh, I'm, I'm looking for all suitors latinas uh, what's uh, <laughs> dude, did we i think even since we last did this we did we put out morning sesh after that because didn't no. we put that out in like march of 21 yeah, dude. Because we went okay. skating, remember? And Let's fact check you it. Yeah, we're the, fact checking we right now. We're gonna fact check. So the last dude, the commercials were fucking. Yeah, sad. the last podcast was like October 2020, mm-hmm. and then we put out our collaboration coffee. I want to say like March or April of 2021. Yeah, for those of y'all that don't know, it's called the morning sesh. Whoa, yeah. dude! April 1st, 2021. Yeah, yeah dude. Shut the front door. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then you dropped your video April 6, 2021. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, uh, yep. the morning yeah, session. The other one that commercial. we did. Mm-hmm. I was hyped on that. Dude, holy shit. Yeah, I know. Dude. Yo. A lot has happened. <laughs> wow. We're, can, yeah. can I get a cheers? The people don't oh, even yeah. know. We're, we're getting real close for this. We're moving mics we're around. Moving mics. <laughs> this is it's getting real intimate. Dude, if you haven't tried the morning session, you got to come over to Caffeine and Green. Dude. And, Try that shit. Hundred percent. Did you guys see in a? I don't know if you guys saw the story today on Caffeine and Green story. But yeah. Quito Libra Cafe. Shout yep. out to my homie Luis over there. He loves the morning sesh. Sick. He fucking puts it on his pour over <laughs> set. And bro, and people in Mexico they fucking love Hell it. Like, yeah. yo, dude, straight up. And that's all you, dude. They take the logo that you fucking <laughs> ro- that you. D- Anybody who doesn't know Nick Shields and Ruben, who who did the artwork? Was it actually was, you or is it, it just was, like? I did the okay. artwork, but it was a collaboration. A collaboration, of ideas yeah. Yeah. Amongst but, all three of us. Dude, sick as shit. When I see that artwork being portrayed in like a cafe in Mexico and people are <laughs> drinking it, it's like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yo, it's such a trick. With the skater doing a dude, nose one yeah. on the coffee. It yeah. stands out the most. I will tell you, when I had it in grocery, I haven't had it in grocery in a minute. But when I had it in grocery, the th- one that always stood out, everybody was like, I want the morning sesh because of the yellow and yeah. how it pops. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Pops. And I love that we that I got the, like, Shaka's Park fence in there. It's just a staple. So important. Yeah. So fucking important. Um, I'm, dude, I, I've i recently been talking about that, actually. Um, I'm going to change the coffee in the morning sesh. I got a new Colombian. And it's going to be like, uh, I'm going to make it like a little bit more of like a elevated oh. Colombian. Ooh. CNG exclusive. Dude, hey, CNG exclusive. <laughs> do we get to come back and uh, have a cupping session with you oh. when you're going to, because that was one of, of my course. favorite parts about uh, going in for this coffee. That was so cool just to be able to like taste each level and be able to like fully sip it and be like, do we want it to have this much acidity or how do we want it? Like what flavor profile do we want? And I was really stoked on that because I'd never been involved in that process before. Dude, you did it at the house. Dude. Yeah, I like, know. Dude, at the fucking house. Now we're going to do it at a coffee shop. Like, <laughs> at, at, your, at your coffee shop. <laughs> at your shop, my dude. You did this. Dude. I, oh, yeah. yeah. But, dude, that's when you say that, though, it's like I can't even really accept that because I didn't just do this. You guys have been a part of this journey. You guys literally helped me get to this part dude. of the journey. And that's real talk because yeah. you guys are literally one of the three coffees that I sell to this day. Your logo is still everywhere. Like I have your stickers on the fucking register <laughs> over there. Like that's love right there, dude. There is like there is no caffeine and green without Shieldus Mag, and there uh, is no caffeine and green without you two. Period. Because had I not had you guys here, to I mean, or, or at the time at my house and coming to do it and just being down to film the videos, it's like, dude. Like, I can't, oh wow, so we okay. We can talk <laughs> about like the videos. Yeah, dude. We went into the videos. Like, yo, we did two, sh- three shoots. Yeah. Three yep, video did. shoots, for one the, in downtown. With that, our, that day was so for fun. For the morning sesh. Yeah, for yeah. like Dowdy. Gabe, Gabe came through. Yeah, yeah. Annabelle. Trisha, Annabelle. Yeah, Dude, that was a fun uh-huh. day. That Dude, was Cannibal, R.I.P. Cannibal was there. Fucking Ray Ray was there. Uh-huh. Who else was there? Uh, we took a fat-ass group photo, too. Yeah, Gabe's We did. Uh, I think that was everybody. I don't actually, know. Right? Yeah, Gabe's but, dropped his board in the water. Uh, sure <laughs> did. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. I don't Sorry, think we it's can, not on the download. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. Keep that on the DL. Sorry, no. Gabe's cut. <laughs> I don't care. Dude. <laughs> I Sorry, honey. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. It's enough time has passed. Uh, I love you, Gabe's Yeah, dude. It was that, <laughs> and then 
I love you we too. Ended up sorry. Having that, we had that like uh, that sesh on the barriers. Yeah, that was fun, dude. That switch wall ride yeah. you did was sick, man. Yeah, dude, your fucking finger flip wall ride front <laughs> side. Yeah. Yo, what yeah. the fuck? And uh, then Trisha, Trisha did a backside wall ride. Mm-hmm. I got the no comply. Dude, yeah, yeah out of gnarly. nowhere, back That's to high. back with uh, Dowdy. Dowdy, yeah, did the did backboard the, slide. He yeah. did like the Wally backboard slide. Yeah. That was fun, dude. Yeah, he that also did that day. roll in. He did oh, like the dude. Smith. Ro- oh no, he did a he, roll in. He, he did a in. small. Uh, he did like a Smith drop in. Oh shit! Is that yeah, yeah. Is that what it was? Right? Like he yeah. stood up and back Smith, and then he like dropped in. Yeah, he did. So Damn. sick. Yeah, that day was just so fun. I I love parking your car at one focal point in the city. And then skating to all the spots. And yeah, then, like, you dope. don't have to, you're not driving anywhere. You're just with your homies and you're having fun and mobbing through the streets. Yeah. That's the best feeling. It is. That's the whole point of, like, doing the concourse and shit. It's yeah, exactly. Like parking and skating down through downtown. Yeah. And having not done something like that in a long time, yeah. it just, it was very reminiscent. It just felt like a sesh on the weekends I'd have with my friends as a little kid. And it's yeah. just, it was super fun. And then we did the the one at the spot near the airport where it was just us three. Yeah. And we were like, I was filming Ruben get a trick for our video, the street massage video. (laughs) And then you were like filming behind the scenes. Yep. With Cannibal. Cannibal was right next to me. Uh, Shout out. Pitbull. Yeah. 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 Pitbull boxer. Fucking big ass, like just dumb dog. (laughs) But he's the best. Oh, yeah. I sent, did I ever send you the film photos I took of that condo? I th- Dude, I think you did because yeah. uh hold on one second. I sent him to Shields recently, so I'll I'll resend him again if you if you need to save him. But yeah, I was really stoked because I got a good one with like a couple yeah, good no. portraits of you that day. I had it uh I think you did because I used one of the pictures as like my uh like one of my pictures on my hinge. Or like Bumble or something <laughs> oh. like that. Oh dude, it was like the one where like <laughs> cannibals like looking up at me and I'm like Hey, so <laughs> shout hey, so shout out to Ruben real quick for uh <laughs> bringing in bringing in business on on uh Multiple on the platforms. podcast, yeah, multiple platforms. We're really just out here helping out our homie Kano, you know. We Dude, really, Ruben is just a down ass homie. We care, we care. We care. Well, how? I mean, this is a crazy thing too. I mean, you've known me since I was you've known me for the better part of uh, fifteen years at this point, bro. Until you've known me a long time. It's pretty, we pretty were, crazy. Wait, wait. We were talking about this the other day specifically. We were talking about like. Dude, no cap, I hella forgot that I threw that call, like we threw that going away party for you until yeah. you brought it up at the yeah, shop. Yeah, You're yeah. like, yeah, you had a going away party for me for college. I was like, oh yeah, is that we your tapped house? the keg, <laughs> yeah. all of us tapped yeah. the keg in one, dude. Yeah. Dude, that photo is epic too. I oh, remember yeah. that. There. Yeah, man. Derm's in there, Lefty, Oh, we Kevin. took that group photo Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. I still have that photo, man. That was that night? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, that photo is oh, epic. Oh my, yeah. dude, we go back. And we're still, <laughs> and look at us now. We're still chilling sad. here, sipping on some tequila ranch water, dude. It's, <laughs> life's life's sick. It could be uh, worse, you know. <laughs> it could be it could be so much worse, dude. Uh, that group was like, dude. That was like the OG animal stuff, dude. Doug, yeah, Dan, uh, yeah. Dan yep, fucking Kevin, uh, Derm, Hodge, dude. Anthony Schultz was in it because Schultz was kicking it with us. So yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think him and Hodge were living together at the time. Dude, Lefty's in the photo. Fucking mm-hmm. Micah. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. That was sick. That was, Yo, I'm yeah. How long ago this. was that? That, well, dude, that, that would have been. That was when I was with Leslie. Like we eleven years OB. ago. Yeah, yeah. At least, yeah, at least. I had. Well, see, we were talking. Me and Ray we were talking about this earlier today. Cause I was like, he's like, how old's Ruben? And I was like, he's twenty eight, going on twenty nine. Well, that is correct. No, it had to have been like ten years ago because you graduated in twenty twelve. Well, dude, no, yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah, gonna yeah. say. Cause I'm thirty six now. I think I was twenty six. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, and he was probably 18. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, it's been 10 years. There it is. Wow. Hey, full disclosure, we didn't go to math school, but we figured this out. <laughs> we collectively figured it out that it was 10 years, y'all. That is a decade for dude, those of you that don't know. Connor wow. was 26, it felt like you were so much older. Really? Wow. Yeah, because we were like 18. I was like, oh, that's like, th- that's that the guy's an homie. adult. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Hella not but, an adult. Yeah, but, but yeah, but we're lucky that that uh, we had the older homies to always guide us and uh, definitely played a pivotal role in our formative years. So thank Dude. you for that. Thank yeah, you. Man. Thank you. Yes, I, I my favorite picture, I, I don't have it anymore, but I do remember it pretty vividly, was like, 
there was a picture of me and Leslie like holding the keg up above our head. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, damn, this is sick. Yeah. These fools can drink. But dude, it turned into like an OB skate park party. Cause yeah. Oh, for sure. Chad came and yep. fucking like all, like Mikey yeah. came. Yeah. Yeah. Might have been there. yeah. I want you to know that the photo is the only thing I remember from that night. <laughs> like I, <laughs> which is kind of how it should be, right? Like, but yeah, I, I'll tell you that much right now. Like I'd poof. I'll Everything. tell you what, it's because of that party that everybody was cool with me after that. Because I remember going to OB Park. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I remember going to OB Park, living in OB, and Chad like would not talk to me. Lefty wouldn't talk to me. Micah wouldn't talk to me. And I was like, I'm going there every day. Nobody's talking to me. We have your going away party, and then fucking everybody after that started talking to me. I was like, oh, this is chill. Like, that We're was the like, reason Connor was I mean, cool. I mean, I, guess, I mean, in so many words. Hey, and it, and it all comes full circle because when we shot one of the commercials for Morning Sesh, it was at Shaka's Park. So it's yeah, yeah. it's where we all where we all bonded, you yeah. know? Dude, I want to give a quick shout out, and not to be a bummer, but I think it needs to be said, is that yesterday on the, or yeah. was it yesterday or the 19th? Yeah. It was the 19th. Yeah. So a couple days ago, uh, wait, is it the 21st? Yeah. So two days ago, it was the anniversary of our good friend Ryan Bowers uh, passing. Yeah. Oh, and shit. we, shout me and out. Ruben didn't even know. And I fucking, it was in my calendar. And yeah. I fucking told Ruben, I was like, do you remember today? And he's like, I should. And I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, gnarly. So to, to Bowers. Yeah. To Bowers. Yeah. Fucking Love you, dude. Love you, man. Love you. Miss you very yeah. much. We, um, we talked not a, about him last time. Man. We d- Exactly. That's what I was going to say, man. Yeah. We sure did. Dude, got to give him a shout out, man. Like, and I... I listened to, like I said, I think we talked about it on the podcast last time, but it was like a 40 and a blunt. Went yep. straight to that because it's OB. Yeah, man. It's OB Park. And like, yeah. unfortunately, we've had two two homies pass away from there. That was like uh, pretty pivotal in all of our lives, I feel like, with Shaka's yeah. and fucking Bowers. But just to see everybody still shining and doing well, yeah. I think that's um, the best part. Absolutely. I mean, everything... I mean, part of the reason why we started Shieldless, just to recap, I mean, I'm sure people have listened to the previous uh, podcasts we've been on, but yeah, I mean, a lot of this is, the main motivation is doing this for people that aren't here anymore, and even more so now, is like, having a coffee shop, not a day goes by, you don't think about the homies that don't get a chance to be in here and enjoy this, but we're here, and it's just even more motivation and a reason to make it count, and do things with intention, and remember that we are here for a reason, and you gotta make the best of it. For those that can't, yes, yes, sir. Well said, well said. Um, <clears throat> well, with that being said, one of the main reasons I wanted to have you guys on, is, uh, and I'll just get right in. <laughs> dude. It took us 20 minutes to actually get to the point. It's only point 20 of why minutes. we're talking to the podcast, dude. But we're no, having so I, much fun. No, it's great. <laughs> there's, there's still so like, much, we're, there's still so much to catch up yeah. on, too. It's like one thing, though, is that next Saturday, so today is July 21st, in yes. two days, we're doing our first food pop, food pop up here at the at caffeine and green but next saturday july 30th we're doing the first uh pop-up with shieldus mag yes um, sir and then ruben's also gonna be in barcelona <laughs> so i know it's like yep. there's a lot of things skateboarding wise but it's we'll start off first with the um the zine release oh yeah it's gonna be your third it's a three-year anniversary party three years yeah that's fucking crazy and so you're going to be releasing a uh, a hard, I guess like yeah, a physical like a, mag, like a, a physical zine, zine yeah, okay. kind of smaller format like you s- see around, um, and it's got it features photos, film photos that I took chronicling the making of our full length video street massage, um, our first full length video that we put out back in January. And of 2021 yeah. or 2022? Of, yeah. 2022. So we have to get, in, get into that. Yeah, which is yeah. so crazy because, <laughs> man, that feels like that came out so long ago. But it's, <laughs> I mean, that was seven months yeah, ago. Yeah, like six months ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so we haven't really gotten the chance to do anything for either any of our anniversaries. And so I wanted to do something this Wait, year. You never? Like no. Well, we started, it started in July, end of July of uh, 2019. Yeah. So then when we would have celebrated the year anniversary, that was smack dab in the middle of the first wave of the pandemic. So yeah. it just, it kind of took the wind that out of our COVID, sales and doing yeah. any proper celebration. And then what 20? about year two? I don't know. It just kind of passed kinda by. Like by. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Had it's just some been ideas and they yeah. didn't come through and then it just came and went. And then uh, this year I was just like, yeah, let's like do this. Cause yeah. I've been wanting to put out a bunch of merchandise. So, mm-hmm. uh, it was like a good excuse to get cranking on that. And then, 
yeah, talk about what kind of what kind of merch you got. Oh yeah, Dude, hype yeah. It up a little I, I bit. was like, I was about to say, like on the story today, I yeah. posted you fucking screen printing your own shirt. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how badass <laughs> that is. Shields that is so gnarly. Shields <laughs> is fully embracing his DIY spirit, uh, and That's I true. couldn't be more proud of him. It's awesome. Uh, That's well, true. <laughs> so, shout out podcast alumni Zach Dowdy. Yo, I, uh, I picked up his screen printing setup like a few months ago. Oh and, really? Yeah, he hooked it up, and I saw that he was selling it on Instagram, and. I was just like inquiring about it, not really thinking that I could, uh, not really thinking that I would really get it, but he, you know, named his price and I acquired it. And, um, so I've been meaning to like make my own stuff for a while now. And, uh, yeah, this, ever since you confirmed the pop-up, I've just like been going hard in the garage printing t-shirts. Yeah. I was in there today, like fucking put in hours in there, probably screened like 80 shirts or something for real yeah dude that <laughs> i'm so glad yeah dude, that makes me so happy bro like i i i love hearing that shit like real real talk like when i hear stuff like that it gets me hyped to like want to promote even harder because it's like dude i see you working and it gets me hyped but like to hear that extra like that i confirmed it it's like bro when you asked <laughs> me i was like it's a no-brainer like it's, it's more like I think I've said this before on the podcast, but it's like, for, like for you guys, it's like more like, hey, we're gonna come this day. Yeah, this is what time we'll be here. It's like <laughs> it's not even like, do you need to ask Connor? It's like, yeah, you're fucking down, bro. Well, like, like I wasn't sure. I was like, ah, he's his grand openings a couple of weeks after that. Like, nah, I don't know I'm if down he wants to do some. Nah, so. I hope whatever yeah. if you like, I hope you sell out. But uh, whatever you don't yeah. sell, if you yeah. don't, if you don't sell out, bring we'll it to back. the fucking grand yeah, yeah. opening. Like, no, I'm stoked. I'm like, well, I'm doing it legit. Like we got a table, we got a banner, we got posters, we got stickers, we got buttons, we got zines, we got hats, we got t-shirts. Yes. There's, there's so much shit and everybody should definitely check it out. One of the shirts we're selling that I screened today is Ruben's shirt that he's that wearing he's right, now. right now. It's a photo. Oh, y'all talking about my, my shirt? Yeah. <laughs> oh. explain, explain that <laughs> shirt. Rubes. Oh man. Um, so it's pretty crazy story. I went, uh, to Japan in March of 2018 with my brother and some childhood friends, and it was a great trip. Uh, we were skating in Shinjuku, uh, and we were at this spot, and then I randomly saw these two ladies walking by, and they were both in bride gowns, uh, like bridal gowns, and they were just walking down the street. And I was skating this little flat bar that was on the ground, and it was super fun. Uh, and then I just immediately was like, oh my God, Like I, I think I kicked my board out, ran over to my film camera, got it, sprinted over to them, and I basically just had to pantomime the whole action that I was trying to convey to them because there was obviously a language barrier. I don't speak Japanese. But I was just like, hey, like, holding my camera, like, can I please take a photo of you? Like, I would, uh, you all look so cool. This is, like, out of a magazine. I need to take this photo. And they kind of, like, looked at each other and were a little puzzled for a second, but then they just giggled and then immediately just went full model. Uh, and they just both synced nice. and looked at me and just gave me these dope model poses. And I was, I was shocked. I was like, this is the best photo I'm probably ever going to take ever. <laughs> I was like, and I think to this day, I really do. It's <laughs> one of the photos I'm most proud of because it was just crazy times being on a trip with your friends and something cool happens in that moment where if you didn't sprint and grab your camera and capture that, you probably wouldn't have gotten it otherwise. <laughs> um, so it was a really special moment for me. And I always wanted to do something with this image i didn't know if i wanted to make prints or how exactly i wanted to you know convey the image itself but yeah uh we had a chance to collab and we're making it into a shieldless shirt so you can be expecting that merch yeah. to drop in the very near future yeah well, well, at the zine release. Yeah, yeah i was gonna say at july 30th yeah, yeah, yeah. dude that's fuck pretty yeah. sick that's so dope yeah, yeah man so um with that being said so you're gonna have merch you're going to have, uh, are you going to have like hard copies of the video? Uh, not hard copies of the video because that's on YouTube and you can okay. do that. There is a QR code on the zine that you can just scan and watch the video like right oh, there, sick. then and there. Okay. Um, that's so all the rage right now, man. That's a cool feature. Oh, yeah. that all I the added. rage. Yeah, it's yeah. every, hey, a <laughs> lot. about the skate loop. Yeah. Fierro, he gave me that idea. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just a small zine just to get something out there because, Ever since we started the magazine three years ago, it's like I tell people like, hey, check out my magazine. And they're like, do you have any copies? And I'm like, oh, it's all online. You got to go to the website, blah, blah, blah. And it's not that people seem bummed. They're just kind of like expecting you to have something to give them, you know? Dude, no, I can completely relate on that. Yeah. And it's because 
caffeine and green what was like we're approaching two years october 1st 2022 will be two years that the business has been formed congrats our uh, it was launched it's, yeah. it's two years old now because it was wow. july well it was a, been a podcast for well it, way it's been a that. podcast yeah. for four years but that became an llc on july 8th of Sick. 2020 oh thank you appreciate that um and then uh, i launched it on october 1st of 2020 so it's either way it's already two years old because it's yeah. july 21st now but then it just passed its two years but it's like bro the first year was great because of the pandemic like i broke even it was super dope because people were just buying coffee yeah as soon as shit was open forget <laughs> about it <laughs> it went downhill so it was like yo i have to do something and that's how it led to this but it's like Sorry. to that point the reason I'm saying this is that I can I can completely understand. It's like, but it's so interesting too because Thrasher now is even pretty much all online. Like, yeah. you have your one mag, yeah. But unless you're like one of the diehards, yeah. Everybody subscribes to the YouTube channel, YouTube, yeah. Insta, fucking mobile app, whatever yeah. you have. You know, and shout like, out to them for keeping it going. I mean, the magazine's bigger than ever too, for sure. given it's like the only magazine. It's the only like, mag. Yeah. There's actually a big. Um, surgeons in uh european magazines yep. that are doing really well in print and really? that's awesome and a lot of people are doing more um instead of monthly magazines they're doing like like quarterly uh, quarterly yeah like nice. closer magazine so um, like is jamie owens from trans world he started his own magazine and that's quarterly and that's super dope and then yeah a bunch of european mags like pocket and um isn't there another Gray mag yeah, free. Free, yeah. Yeah. There's another yeah. what uh isn't there another mag that's out called ooh. <laughs> isn't there another mag that's out called two thousand and one? I don't know, but there's like I mean I'm sure there is. That sounds dope. There's yeah. also like Skate John. Mm -hmm. Um there's low card holding it down for years. Consumental. Shout out to Consumental. That's yeah. That's more of the style we're going. Of just yeah. like kinda low key. Yeah, absolutely. Budget. But they, they focus more on pool skating. For sure. I like any of the Canadian mags. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah? yeah? What are your faves? Uh, d I like SBC. I don't know if that's still around, but that was like a, always a really good one. They had Spencer Hamilton like back in the day. Yeah, Spencer Hamilton. Shout dude, out. that's that my dude top three. Top three pro skateboarders that oh, yeah. I fucking love. I'm not going to lie. He's still ripping. Dude, you watch this part in the primitive video? Uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, Him and Merrick. Shout out to Merrick. I Yo. Know. Dude, Merrick is always listening, and so that's fucking super dope. So shout out, Merrick. Yeah. Um, but yes, I like his part, Spencer Hamilton's part. Dude, uh, who Carlos Ribeiro? Mm -hmm. Is that dude? That, dude, okay. Paul, switch backside Smith around a curve ledge, switch backside flip out. Yeah. Paul is still fucking killing it. Broke his goddamn knee or whatever he did to it, and then he comes back and he just does like the gnarliest skate tricks that you've ever done. Yeah. Like people can't do that trick regular. No, people can't even switch back Smith. I mean, think like think about how difficult that is in itself. To hold around an entire ledge, if you've yeah. watched that skate video, like, pfft, yeah, stop it. It's unreal. And that's the first. That's how you start the video. Yeah, I know. That's how you start <laughs> the video with that dude's part. Like, I don't know. Like, Paul is Paul is actually older than me. Yeah. So Paul's what like thirty seven. Fucking still jumping down like twelve stairs, killing like it. killing yeah, the man. game, like switch front heels, fucking Dude. doing all that these is, goddamn. That things. is life goals right there. How do you do that? Yeah, bro, stop yeah. playing with me, Paul. <laughs> I don't understand. Wade Disarmo. Oh, Wade Dude. is the sickest. King of style, hundred percent. Bro, Ray Ray's always hating on me for those uh, those Desert Storm camel pants that I have. When I seen no, nah. oh, there you, there, you there you go, big this big is, crack. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking in uh, Wade Desarmo in his part, he's wearing a pair of like Desert Storm camel pants, and he has like a Raider jersey on. Yeah, and I was like, Ray Ray, he look stole at that. your fit. <laughs> I was like, Ray Ray, look at that. I was like, I have that exact fit. I have that exact fit. You just watch when it gets cold again. Shit, son, I'm bringing out football jerseys all day. That's oh, right. Oh, fuck. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry. hey, sorry. Kano, dude, I, I <laughs> listen, dude. I don't want to fight you, dude. I'm really, I'm nervous right now, man. Like, Stop really flexing on me, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little drunk. I'm sorry. Anyways, oh, anyways, anyways. Okay, Wait, to back go back, to the story. Uh, yeah, back to shout story. out um, 
86 to Mag. And oh, yeah, for kinda sure. Kind of bummed Mag. Yeah. yeah sorry. Kinda and bummed. no. And shout out Dowdy doing typical culture for 10 years. Absolutely. Dude, shout them all around. out, man. But that was a big influence on me. So. Absolutely. Same for me. Oh, nice. nice. I used to. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. It's a little syncopated. Syn- nice. <laughs> that was that was lovely. Thanks, boys. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm definitely going to have to walk home. <laughs> I already, I already yeah, dude, uh, you should. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a ride. Anyways, yeah, don't <laughs> worry. We'll, uh, yeah. Um, but so we're talking about the pop up. So next next Saturday, we are going to have you guys in front of the shop right here. Yes, we're going to be with Marco Maestoso, the Michelin star nominated chef. Yo. Uh, so we're going to have like the, he's he's kicking off this weekend. Sick. He's going to do like this mozzarella tortilla, which is crazy, and then he's doing like these like other crazy tacos. But I did tell him, I was like, yo, next Saturday, the 30th. So kicking it off this Saturday, the 23rd, next Saturday, having the zine release for you guys. Yeah. So you're going to be posted up in front of this one right here. Uh-huh. On and the he's left? Gonna be, yeah, on the left. And then you're gonna be, he's going to be posted up on the right. All right. And then uh, it's going to be let's like see a who preview. sells more. Dude, let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. I like your style. Let's, let's bring in the skaters. Let's bring in everybody. <laughs> I can't wait. No, like, that's sick. Um, yeah, we got to throw that on the flyer or something. Oh, dude, yeah. no. I didn't know. That, we're going to do that. I'll have, I'll have Sav fucking whip something up because I know she got it. Hell and yeah. And then uh, we are going to – because I – that's why this week it's like this week you guys have been promoting it. Next yeah. week it's gonna be all me. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking yo I'm blast. Just, it, 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 that's always hard about social media. It's like when do you start promoting something? <laughs> it's like no, it's good. Right, two I, weeks seems a lot, but the like, no. one week is like not enough. So it's really good yeah. the way you've been doing it. You're sprinkling it in. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. Like uh, there, w- Jesus Christ. Social media is a whole beast. Like doing the magazine it's like all right not only do i have to keep up with putting content on my website and then like putting out physical merch and shit but then i gotta like post on instagram it's, yeah dude, it's so insane. there's a, a subtle balance do you ever look yeah. at your analytics yeah yeah all the time it's bad <laughs> <laughs> reels reels is 100 percent all my shit yeah yeah. yeah yeah reels reels kill it even those take a dive sometimes though you just never 100%. know like like some some will do so well and it reach it reaches such a wide target audience and then the other ones will just get a couple yeah. thousand views. Or you can like, collaborate with people now and you well, like, yeah, you can collaborate to collab to put it on the shit. To get I collaborate views, yeah. with like a pro skateboarder and it's like my highest viewed video, but his lowest viewed video. And yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah. But <laughs> then <laughs> no, but that works for you though. Like, yeah, right. No, no. But then you have videos recently, uh, with Trisha, Trisha at the yeah. June shine event, yeah. skating that ramp and that shit popped the fuck off. Yeah. Dude, Trisha has a solid fall. Dude, TikTok. Yeah. Have you seen her ass on TikTok? She, she has like millions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't looking at her I butt her on TikTok. I wasn't looking at her ass on TikTok. <laughs> like, Wait, is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look. Dude. Uh, I, just, uh, I was talking about her page. No, Jesus but I know We get it, Connor. We're just, we're just a little... A little like, subtle. It's like when you say like, "Oh yeah, butt fucking." It's like, "Oh yeah, like, yo, yeah, what the hey, fuck? yeah. <laughs> dude, butt fuck, uh, butt fuck, dude, like, yeah. butt fuck. Um, butt no, I'm an old man, and I I keep it limited to just Insta these days. I don't <laughs> have any other. Uh, <laughs> I grew up in a different time. I don't know. TikTok is TikTok to me. No hate. A, a lot of my other friends have influenced me and been like, "You got to get it," and they always send me TikTok dumps and just funny videos all the Gross. time. I'm like, "This is fun." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine I, a TikTok dump. I Ooh. fuck with TikTok. I fuck. I don't well, watch I mean, it. Yeah. I don't. I only yeah. do it because they don't have the limits on the music. That's oh. why. I, like, if I'll make if I'm making a video for Caffeine and Green, I'll fucking edit it first in like an editing program, okay. and then I'll fucking use it over. I'll upload it to TikTok, and then know the song that I'm gonna use because I know it most likely will be on there. Yeah. And then you just line. The only shit that sucks is that you can't really line it up because they limit their songs to like a minute and like. Uh, or 30 seconds and sometimes it's not the part of the song that you want uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I see so then you have to buy the song you know for like a dollar 39 from the Apple store capitalism man Fucking <laughs> hey, America that's right that's what uh, I'm saying yeah I mean that's a good way to reach like a wide audience is just like a whole nother thing to worry about so I haven't really fucked with it at all dude I met this chick I've met a couple chicks now. I met two. Yeah, we get it. You're on Hinge. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, it this was off the dating apps. This was off the dating apps. This was off the dating apps. See? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. No, it was off the dating apps. I was on a podcast, and I met this tattoo girl, 
and she was like, yeah, like uh, she showed me her Instagram and I was like, I looked at it and she had something on Instagram. She had like 40. No, no. She had 130,000 followers on Instagram. Damn. I was like, this is you. And she's <laughs> like, this is me. And I was like, damn. And she's like, it's mainly all my tattoo artwork, blah, 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 whatever. She's like, yeah, 130 is not in shit. She's like, on TikTok, I have like 2 million. I was like, God damn. What the fuck? And I looked at her TikTok. And it was like, bro, (laughs) real talk. But like, I looked at her shit. I mean, like, she's a talented artist, but it was, it was so crazy because, and the reason I bring this up is because the the reach of TikTok is so much farther than Instagram. Same with like, that's the same with like YouTubers and shit. Like, people that have like a million YouTube subscribers, they only have like a tenth of that on Instagram. It's, Whatever platform you're yeah, really you're coming up on, yeah. But like YouTube, whatever you algorithm is favoring, yeah, you. yeah. Like Mr. Beast, yeah. You know exactly. about Mr. Beast? Yeah, that yeah. motherfucker crazy. <laughs> Yo, he got hell of followers on on YouTube. Yeah. So you know he's making that money. Like, yeah. That's what blows my mind. Hodge told me he's making money off reels. Yeah. yeah. It's like, bro, mm-hmm. you're making money off reels. Like, yeah. How do you it, do that? It's like. Yeah, it's just something that like pops up on certain people's Instagrams that they can like monetize, but it's not like a bunch until you get into like the millions of views, I think. But, yeah. You know, dude, you we did a fucking pop up at Lucadia Barbershop and this dude freaked out on us a bum and Emiliano uh, hit like f- fucking filmed it. <laughs> and this shit has like over two, three million views. And it's me just standing there like <laughs> <laughs> watching this fool just you scream at me. In a brand new Ruka fit, like <laughs> brand new Ruka Everlast fit. He had the top hoodie and he had the fucking bottom sweats. It's like he still had the tags on him. Like he just jacked it from somebody, some crazy mental health motherfucker. But like he's like screaming at us and calling us peasants. And like all you can see is like the caffeine and green in the back real quick. And like I'm just standing there like looking at him like what the fuck is this one? You fucking peasants. And he like throws a Gatorade bottle and it like hit like two million views on Emiliano's Instagram. I'm like, damn. Damn. Why are we not fuck? talking about that? You're famous, dog. You're <laughs> Dude, and it's the back of my head. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't even me, but Emiliano was, was like quick, cutting hair and shit. Like, yo. Yeah, shout out Emiliano. That uh, dude is sick. He's though. the fucking dopest. Yeah, he is. Um, he okay, was, real quick. What were we talking about? No, yeah, I know. We were just kind of we're, we're, we're just kind of ranting at this point. Sorry, guys. This is the victory lap. This is <laughs> <laughs> which is another. <laughs> yo, <laughs> shout out to victory lap because that's like Nipsey, and we had a coffee called Victory Lap. Yeah, Wait, who's um, Nipsey? Shut the <laughs> 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 All right. That's so bad. Someone cut him off. He's I done. still He's have done. I still have the best Can we, photo. Oh, I know what Nipsey. I want to talk about. No, I don't want to know <laughs> what I dude, you do have the best photo with Nipsey, actually. I do want to talk about something for a second. You didn't drink, sir. Mr. Nick Shields. I'm talking to you. You didn't drink for a while. Couple yeah. years, um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure I, it felt that way. And now he's drinking. Starting, so at the beginning of 2020, I was like, oh, I'm gonna take like some time off of drinking just to feel a little better, you know, like mm-hmm. whatever, like some dry January shit, kind of like that. Dry January. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, any and, month of the year. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I was like, oh, uh, I'm a after a month or whatever. I was like, oh, this feels good. I'm gonna keep this going, and then quarantine hit and like i was like well fuck like i'm not working if i start now like if i start drinking now i'm gonna drink like every day because that's how i am i'm like all or nothing for <laughs> sure so Damn, you went sober yeah. during quarantine so i just kept it which going. like can we just applaud that oh i was literally i was that? i was literally <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth like yeah. Like, I, that is no so, small feat, man. Because I want you to know I was doing the opposite 100% of that. Yo también. It was, yeah. It was, <laughs> Igualmente. <laughs> it, it wasn't all because, like, I get too fucked up or anything. It's just, like, health-wise, like, calorie-wise, like, I just needed a break, you know. And so during uh, quarantine, I was just skating a lot. And I was like, man, I'm skating better and better every day. Like, I should just, like, keep this going. And then... And then it was a year, and then it was like. Well, Were you still in Portland too? Yeah, that was that was when I started. Was when I was in Portland, and then I moved Damn, back down it's to been San Diego. That long. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, and then, so I started January of 2020, and then October of 2021, uh, my lady and I went to Europe, and I was like, all right, 
I'm gonna start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's and then what? Ha- and then what happened in Europe, Nick? Yeah, and that's where we got engaged. Oh. Yeah. And uh, and and I ran a half marathon in Barcelona. I saw <laughs> that. I was like, Yo, what the fuck? Like that's yeah. so. Crazy. And I ollied Mac with three block. Yeah, he did. I fucking I don't know. Did you really? Whatever. Yeah. It's just a three block. It's not a four block anymore. But. It's hey man, <laughs> still fuck it. Yeah, that was my two goals in Barcelona. I was like, I want to ollie Macba and I want to run this half marathon. And uh, and I did both those things. <laughs> Dude, fuck it. Yeah. Good for you. And, and I got engaged. Can yeah. And you got engaged. That's and my. I, well, that's I got engaged right in Greece, which was after Barcelona. Oh. We went to Santorini, and that's where I was proposed because Santorini is like the dopest fucking place is it really? I've ever been. Yeah. I've never gone it's there. It's amazing, dude. If you ever get a chance to go to Greece, like the wine is great, the beer is great, the food is great, the people are nice. Like it's a really dope spot. Like we went to Santorini and we went to Athens and I know all those other islands in between are super cool too. Damn. Yeah. Did you like kind of go on any like super touristy tours about like Greek mythology and stuff? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, we saw the ruins in Athens and kind of like the generic stuff, but yeah, um, we were really just like eating and drinking our way through Europe. I mean, As you should. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, that's not a bad <laughs> thing to do at all. Like, yeah. dude, Italy and all, I ate my ass through fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you did what? Yeah, right. Flexible motherfucker, I, I dude. I ate a lot of food through Europe. Jesus Christ, guys. Fuck. All right, whatever. <laughs> whatever, fuck it. Whatever, fuck it. Dude, I was watching a comedian uh, the other day, and he's like, he was talking to me. He's like, I, I got the fucking. He's like, out of all the accents, whenever I travel, he's like, the Mexican West Coast like cholo <laughs> accent is the best. And he's like, oh my fucking leg hurt, you fucker. <laughs> like he's talking about it, it's like, bro, that's yeah. how I feel right now. Like I feel hella dumb. Like I just like, oh, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fucker. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you, yeah, dude. Either way. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you got you you proposed in Santorini, Greece. I'm gonna ask some details. <laughs> what like did you know you were gonna do this? All right, so like for so real? we were originally supposed to go to Europe in May of 2020. Okay, and so obviously that couldn't happen. But I was that's kind of where when I stopped drinking in January of 2020, I was like, all right, well, like maybe I'll drink when we go to Europe, and that was like you know a few months or whatever. And I still did that. It was just like a year and ten months later. Dope. But, <laughs> but <laughs> um, so I was not planning on doing it then. But leading up to October of 2021, I was just like, uh, you know, maybe that's something I want to do. And I was kind of thinking about it. And then, um, and then right before the trip, like a couple of weeks, I was just like, yeah, I want to do this. You know, you know. So like I looked into rings yeah, i just want to i yeah. want to get married yeah and for life yeah <laughs> uh exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well no i mean marriage is something that I, I you know i had pre-thought but i was like if you're gonna propose is like when's the right scenario and it's like you're not really gonna be like a beach in greece you know <laughs> like because after we come back and, and we're in san diego it's like all right how do what am what, what are you gonna do that would be better than that yeah what's well, gonna top stuff. that experience yeah. yeah so it's only like a couple of weeks before i left i like bought a ring and i didn't really i didn't tell anybody i, I didn't just, even know yeah i will because i wanted it to be my decision you know like yeah. i didn't i didn't need a like anybody to tell me like yes or no i just like wanted to be like i made this decision and that's what i'm gonna do yeah man and that was like two or three weeks into the trip so i was like well if the trip's not going good i don't have to do it so <laughs> wait <laughs> but how I, long are you i'm just for? joking by the way. <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wow. uh, yeah for real uh how long did you no, how long were you gone for we were in europe for like three weeks oh, okay three. Yeah. damn that's a long trip um yeah and so yeah it just worked out we had a great trip and that's where i decided to do it and i wasn't too nervous until like that day because you want like the moment to be good you want like everybody to look good for photos or whatever and um i was like ah sunset would be cool but like everybody's there's so many people around during sunset over there so um one day i was like oh let's just go to brunch let's like you know dress nice and go out and our Airbnb was by the beach and so we walked on the beach and I was like hey let's like take a photo so I set my phone up 
on like a beach chair. There's like a bunch of them out on the beach there uh, against my backpack. And I just like took and a this video. This is in Santorini, Greece. Yeah. Okay. I just took a video and told her it was a photo. And then that's when her and I proposed. And so we got it on video. Yeah. Damn, son. Kind of like skater shit, you know? Like no, you prop your phone against. No, 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 no. Stop, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Don't ruin it with the skater shit. No, but. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hello, <laughs> Q, son. Stop you playing. Prop your phone against your water bottle. Like, no, fuck no that. because everybody everybody was like, how did you get the photos? Like, no. who. Did you ask somebody? It's like, nah, dude. Like, I know how to, like, frame up my phone. Dude, but like, it's not just about skater. Like, DIY yo, that's tripod, sick, baby. Bro. That's what it is. That's hella sick. Yo, that's so dope. But. Yeah. So did you like, hey, let's like push with the photo. Like, okay, cool. And then yeah. like, and then like, hey. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what's yeah, basically. I yeah. was like, what's popping? You want to do this or not? <laughs> 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 not even were you kidding. marry me. It's like, yo, what's popping? You want to do this hey. or not? Yo, Full hey. disclosure, what's popping? <laughs> 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 so like what are we? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we about to get married? We finna get married and you know what's popping. Like, yeah. yeah. And uh yeah, she said yes and Did you tell her that it was her time day. to shine? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? It's your time to shine, Tara. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we uh in Santorini though, you like you rent a four wheeler and so we just like spent the day like we went to a winery and we drove the four-wheeler out to like this lighthouse and watched the sunset it was a dope oh, that's, day that's beautiful and as we're like driving back to the airbnb on the four-wheeler like there's a full moon and i was just like man this is fucking sick like what the fuck is my life <laughs> it was amazing but dude that's so sick no yeah and then you come back and it's real life and you got to plan all this shit and it's finally happening it's not we're not doing like a big wedding or anything it's yeah. like kind of low-key but um but you have a fucking yeah. website with a countdown. I mean, it's like slow key. It's fun, apparently. He's <laughs> fancy. He doesn't like to brag, but he's fancy. Dude, it's okay. Yeah. There's, there's a website where you can go and you make your own website. And people can see the details of the wedding. And they RSVP and shit. It's, there you go. It's pretty normal. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But yeah. I'm not hating, dude. I had a website. I mean, I didn't really have it, but, you know, my ex did. Mm. But, um... Dude, that's dope. I'm like super happy for you. I think that's super cool. Thank you, dude. Um, one thing I also want to talk about is that during the podcast, which I don't did I don't know if we touched on it on the last podcast, but I mean we must have. You did the quarantine calls. Also, you yeah. guys started your own podcast. I think we talked about that a little did bit. Did we talk about we it? Talk about it. I think we did, yeah. Um yeah, it was something that we wanted to do because we just wanted to check in all in Ah, mm -mm. We wanted to check in on all of our friends during the pandemic to make sure everybody was doing all right, given their mental state and just how they were handling quarantine. Uh, so it was a fun way to just get on the phone and shoot the shit with people in an old traditional way, you know, not texting or whatever other, uh, you know, format that you use to reach out. We just wanted to hear people's voices and make sure they were doing all right. Uh, and it was really fun, honestly. Dude, I... I I feel like, well, we definitely talked about this, like, recently, because I remember it. Yeah. But uh, after the, I had the quarantine call with you guys, I was, like, turned up in my room by myself. Just, like, I hadn't smoked any weed during the quarantine. And then when I got on your call, it was the first time I'd smoked weed. And it had been, like, a month and a half into quarantine. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm turned up right now. I'm smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. Episode seven. I'm just is that what up. it was? Yeah. Hey, there it, it is. is. Dude, episode seven, I smoked weed and I got turned up in my room by myself and it was like an hour and a half conversation. <laughs> and by after I got off the phone with you guys, I was like, well, fuck, this is not as definitely not as fun because now I'm just drunk and high in my room <laughs> by myself. Like, fuck. <laughs> but it was such a good conversation. Like, I because we did it all through Google, Google, Google voice, phone? Yeah. Google voice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've talked about doing another podcast or something and we we might. It's just. Yeah, we got a lot, a lot on our plate as it is, yeah. you know. Yeah, and it's like we got big life things happening. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's it's uh, to do an actual podcast and to actually, I I mean, like, I, it sounds stupid, like to say, to do it well, yeah, or just to keep doing it. It's like that was one thing with caffeine and green specifically that I I felt like uh, I didn't. I, I talked to Tyler about this. Like, I was yeah. like, dude, I don't, I don't want to grow and not keep doing the podcast because this is yeah. what so it everything started it. yeah this is what started it yeah. so right. it's like it's embedded in the foundation of the yeah. of dude, the shop i tell people and i love it dude i listen to the fucking every thank episode you. thank you dude 
yesterday I had to pull a podcast down because there was like uh, the metronome was in the in the in the background, uh, and but I had a listener. Shout out to Carmelo, but he's also a homie. He's a roaster up in San Jose. Yeah, right on, <laughs> dude. He fucking straight up messaged me. He was like, "Yo, there's a clicking sound on your podcast," like how you messaged me about like, yeah. "Yo, I can't hear this shit." And it was just <laughs> like, "Yo, oh fuck." So I pulled everything down. I messaged the guest, and I was like, "Yo." I had to pull the podcast and I'll put it up tomorrow. Fixed it and then, like I re-uploaded oh, it. You but got I was it like, out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Fucking it's up. Shout out, dude. Dude, dude yeah. So you. it's like, dude, shout yeah. out to Carmelo. I know he yeah. listens to the podcast, and he, uh, it's because of him. Yeah. So it's it's because of the listeners, dude. Like, yeah. yeah. Seventeen countries, fucking twenty three thousand fo- like listeners, like that's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Shout out to you, man. Congrats, and it's amazing to see where it's come from when we did that video on you. Like what video? Remember we did the skaters doing things, a little th- thing Dude, when we were watching that with another. Ray Ray yeah. And oh uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. And it was because I was like, yo, we should watch that. Like, <laughs> let's see what's popping. And like we watched it, and it was like the first couple like clips is with like, like Leslie and shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, like, shit. <laughs> I was like, yo, we should repost this. And then I looked at it, I was like, ah, let's not repost this. Like, <laughs> well, we should. But the make video was one. tight. No, yeah. the video, dude. The Rock kick flip, son. But. Dude, from Rock blunt kick flip. flip, from yeah. blunt kick flip on the fucking on the short ass yeah. legend uh, uh, memorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but you talking about caffeine and green and that is great. And <laughs> dude, was se- you were at seven seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. but yeah, back in the day. Yeah, dude, I'm so down. We should definitely do another one. Let's um, do an update. Can we do an update? Yeah, oh, dude, hell yeah. Let's do an update yeah, yeah. video. We should definitely. Yeah, do it. but uh, going back to like our podcast too, it's like. We also run a magazine where we want to feature interviews. So it's kind of hard of like, all right, who gets a podcast? Who gets like a, a transcribed interview? Like whatever. It's just like we need to figure out some details, but we might bring it back. Can know? I can I if if you decide to do one, can I request uh, one yeah. in print or a video? <laughs> yeah. Scooter. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we did a I video on Scooter. Well, no, I want to yeah, update back it in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout because out Scooter. He's recovering from a broken femur. Broken femur. Sure. And yep. then like he, he did the art for the Blood Wizard Dude, steel that's mill. That's what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> that's what, that's why. And also, I want to like, I want to see. I mean, like, I and you um, know, he's very open about it on Instagram. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, I don't feel like I'm outing him or anything. But like his, uh, like how he feels about MS and like how he feels like how oh, he's yeah. dealing with that, and then also breaking the femur and like. Yeah. But he's back tattooing now. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, and it's like, I would love to hear how he's doing. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. Scooter, we're coming for you. Yes. Amen. He'll never hear this, but. He won't listen to it. I don't think he listens to podcasts. Fuck that. We're gonna <laughs> I'm going to tag him in this. I love like, him. Scooter. Though. Yeah. We I love him about too. You I love him dead. I have 54 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> lots of tattoos from him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I Same. I got. Yo tengo dos. No. We do have a. See. Si? We, we do have some interviews Yo también. coming out si? though. So keep an eye out on our website. Did he do your yeah. Route 44 tat also? Yeah, he did my. No, we talked about this. Yeah. We have the same Route 44 tat. Matching tats. Yep. Matching tats on the same arm. Yep. <sighs> but yours is on the inside <laughs> of the under arm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude, guys, scooter, what the fuck? Yeah. That doesn't make it. That doesn't give it any more. Like, dude, so yeah. many people will say like me and Ruben look alike. All <laughs> really, we have the same. Oh my tat god, I'm looking at you right arm. now, and I did never even noticed this. Yeah, he has long. You're hair both on. wearing fucking forward caps, yeah. mm-hmm. and you've got some white like, shirt, the same on. length beard, yeah. white shirt. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's my guy right Ruben's there. Ruben's Hispanic. <laughs> that we're, we're Connor's <laughs> Jewish. It's yeah, crazy. We're, that's Connor's right. Jewish. That's right. Can you imagine? Oh my. Oh my! Oh wow! <laughs> okay, thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. That's how you know. That's how you can tell Nick yeah. is drunk. So <laughs> I, that's right. So anyway, <laughs> Halloween comes once a year, <laughs> and uh, we could be each other on Halloween. I paint my nails. There I it is. Wear, I wear your hey. shirt, dude. I can. Yo. Yes. We're like the same size we, shit. We dude. do. We really do. Yeah. We really do. We're like, we're essentially the same size. This is my guy right here. <laughs> yeah. Also, thanks for noticing my nails. I went and got my first uh, Manny Petty the other day to treat that's myself. That's your first? Well, well, that's I've gotten a pedicure before because those are dope. I They're mean, amazing. as a skateboarder, I can't stress this enough for people that don't do it. Just go and do it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's awesome. I mean, I will say for me... Uh, the funniest part about it is that I just, I'm very ticklish. So whenever they start going in on my feet and scrubbing it, 
I am like giggling, but I wore a mask when I went in, you know, because I'm just trying to have safety precautions because I'm going to Spain in a couple of days and I really don't want to get sick before I go because that would suck. Um, but uh, I was happy that they couldn't see me giggling the whole time that they were scrubbing my feet because there was definitely a minute where I was just like, oh, I want to laugh so hard right now and I can't. It's so difficult to hold it in. Um, Dude, the, the, the calf massage. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying because people just, people just think that it's like, oh, they're just going to like – trim your nails and scrub that area and like paint your toenails. But no, like they do. And they do the same thing for your arms too. Like if they yeah. paint your nails on your fingers, mm-hmm. they do the same thing. Like they rub everything in up to uh, your elbow and it's just really real. It's just really relaxing. It's nice. Like it's good. And like self free. Yeah, man. Self care. It's important. Free. It's important. I love getting my nails painted. Like <laughs> real talk. Yeah. One hundred. It's uh, every. I know you guys seen it. Like yeah. I used to have pedicures all the time. So. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's uh. You gotta get on that. And th- in this hell world we're living in, man, I think uh. Bring a little bit of color in your life. Yeah. Shit is absolutely. Yeah. Treat yourself. Some it's some green, dude. Yeah. Uh, green. You know, I used a to get yellow or like neon. I should have. I should have done. I should have done black and green. You should have done brown and green, like coffee. Yeah, uh, dude, that's kind of green? like I don't know. I know. Like brown or green is kind of off though. Mm. Even for a colorblind ass. Like, I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> your whole I was just saying. I was like, uh, if he's calling it out on his own, uh, yeah, then yeah, yeah like, that makes sense. I don't sense. know, bro. I don't know if I would do brown and green, but like I've definitely done like uh, I've done like blue and yellow for like Warriors colors during Warriors yeah. col- like season, <laughs> like when they're you know the Devs are on top always. Yeah. Um, oh, like recently when like, they just won. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. That's what's up. Nickel dime. Uh, they were all. They will forever always be nickel dime, and even though they're in San Francisco. <laughs> now but um okay so oh yeah what's up what do we i wanted next? to i want to touch on a couple other things okay boys okay all right he's got an agenda he wants we're to all ears touch on us. i do <gasps> even what what did, you, what, did you say? <laughs> what? what did you say i said let's go what do you want to <laughs> talk about i'm gonna rewind it i'm gonna find out what you said but um <laughs> like no i was gonna say is that uh dude even when i'm super drunk like i can bring it back that's all I say. That is a true Unless professional. Unless you're with Hodge and Derm. <laughs> I love, Hodge and Derm I love like, those episodes. Dude, where you guys are they're just the best. Faded. Because they're that, the best. That's even I want to do an episode with them. Dude, that sounds fun. Like I know this sounds weird, but like Ooh. I guess to say it out loud now is like with them, it's approaching 20 years. Yeah. With those two. So when I'm with those two, it's like, fuck. Like, especially Hodge now, too, because Hodge is just Mr. Fucking... Mr. Zero, dude, he's like the <laughs> next Jamie Thomas. If Jamie Thomas is a leave zero to anybody, it would probably be Hodge. Yeah. Like, real talk. Hodge is, he's the fucking man. I've he's never a met a person that doesn't like Hodge. Even if they were mad at Hodge, like, yo, I punch Hodge in the face, but I still love him. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, You know, uh, he really just has that quality, you know what I mean? Uh, he's the best. I mean, he's he's the sickest. I've also known him pretty much as long as I've known you, Kano, and like, yeah, man, just to see him really come into his own and, like, look at everything he's doing now. He's running shit, TM for zero, shooting photos, getting multiple photos run in the mag every fucking issue. All up in Thrasher. I mean, it's just, like, it's incredible because he learned all that shit from, like, he, he f- didn't, he never shot photos before. Ever. And this Ever. is all this is all within, like, the last five years. It's just fucking. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I go to Hodge with a lot of photography stuff and yeah man he hooks it up because natural talent yeah, yeah really natural well. fucking talent he has an eye and and it's just like he also has the personality yeah. oh yeah 100 percent, dude i like i was not kidding when i said that i haven't met a person who doesn't like him yeah, yeah. like they might have like had some experience with hodge like oh he was being fucking crazy or he did this or he did that but it's but like, it's the best yeah, story the yeah it's, <laughs> it's like, the best day, story it's, like, it's hodge though yeah so it's like <laughs> You have to know what you're getting yourself yeah. into. Yeah. You know? So Shout out Dozer. Who's Dozer? That's, that's, is that, that's, is that that's Hodge. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know that. Well, it's not, no, it's that. not his last name. It's just that's no, his. No, I, I know it's Hodge, <laughs> yeah. obviously. But I didn't know that nickname of him. <laughs> what, is that what they call him now? <laughs> to me, he's just Hodgey. Yeah. Whenever hey, I see him, it's just Hodgey. Hodge. Hey, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got multiple nicknames, but Dozer. <laughs> 
Because because he just the way he skates, man, he just fucking dozes through things, you know, I like mean, a bulldozer. I would, I would okay, uh-huh. it makes sense. I would definitely call him more like a, what's that dude from like Lord of the Rings? He's the dude who like you have to pass by everybody. Griff, not Gryffindor. But. Gandalf. Wait, Gandalf? you're talking Harry Potter and fucking <laughs> and Lord of the Rings. What, what, are, what like, are we? He's what one are we? of those wizards. He's one of those wizards. He's like the old school G. <laughs> oh, you like shall not pass. You shall not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Gandalf. Like, okay. There's, there's Hodge with just a little pile of something. Just, <laughs> you shall not pass. This is Hodge. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll stand there with a bottle of Sailor Jerry. I don't give a fuck. You can laugh all you want. They're like looking at me right now, but it's crazy. But like, you, know Hodge, you know that's what it is. So it's just that's I love you. I love you, Hodge. Anyways, but anyways, what else are we gonna talk about? What else nickname advice. could we call him? Beakmaster Plus. Oh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Redact. Redact. Nah, fuck that. I'm talking shit right now. <laughs> I'm, I love you, Hodge. I love you. Crutage. He will never listen to this. He will never. Yeah, but other will. people will. So it's fine. Yeah. What are we talking about? What exactly. else is What else is on the agenda? What else is on the agenda is that zero, <laughs> zero Ruben. I was gonna say Ruben Barrick is now officially on zero, guys. When we were on the Congrats second podcast to. on October 14th Thanks, of dude. 2020, but who's counting the exact day? <laughs> um, we were talking about what was possible with Mr. Ruben Barrick over here. And now, as of uh, July 19th, or a couple days before, a new Thrasher came out, and you had your first ad with Zero Skateboard, sir. My first ad ever. First ad ever. Just uh, As far as... Uh, if if any of y'all skate and are from San Diego like I am, I mean, I I can't even put into words how much that means to me. It's just kind of, it's kind of nuts. Like, I'm still grappling with it. Because it's obviously everything that I've ever wanted in my life and stuff that I had hoped I would one day achieve when I was old enough because I love skateboarding so much and growing up and watching Zero videos as a kid, like one of the first videos I ever saw was Missile of Youth, obviously. Um, And it, it was just something to me in my head that was like, oh, that's unattainable, you know what I mean? Like everybody on Zero is so gnarly. That level of skating is top tier. I could never see myself in that same light. You know what I mean? Um, And to be given that honor at this point in my life, I mean, it's just, I honestly, I mean, yeah, I don't have words. It's just indescribable. And I'm, I I wouldn't want to ride for any other brand. I'm honored that I'm even associated with any of the people that contribute to that brand and make it what it is. Uh, and it's just, it really, uh, I am so grateful, uh, to everyone involved at the company. Uh, shout out Jamie, uh, shout out Kurt and Vinny and Dane and Chris and Adam and like everybody associated with zero. I mean, it, it really, I just like, I'm still stunned. I like can't, I, cause I also didn't even know that that was going to happen. Like I actually, so nuts. yeah, I found out, uh, it was pretty funny. This is a good story. I found out, um, for my friend Mikey, Mookie, who works at Pacific Drive. MJ. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Michael Jordan. Yeah, and it was it was pretty crazy how it all came about because uh, we were skating on Saturday. It was my friend Daniel's birthday, uh, and I've known Daniel since I was nine years old. We this is, this is a week ago too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not like last Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah this is this is week. yeah less, less, less than, than a week. Than this a week. is still this is still fresh, which is why I'm still I don't even know how to talk about this, but we're gonna dive in. Yeah, uh, and I'm gonna do my best to articulate it because it's still so new, and I am still processing it all. Um, but uh, you were skating with Daniel. I was skating with Daniel. It was <laughs> on his birthday. Uh, I've known Daniel since I was a little kid. I mean. Most we, jacked dude ever. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, he really, yeah. <laughs> White beater, hey, swole, baby. Hey, I will say that I'm going. I'm gonna go off on a short tangent, but it is funny how often we go skate because I I bring Daniel out uh, with me on most weekends because I love having him on the session, um, and our whole crew loves him as well. Uh, but Dane is always like, "Man, why do you got to make us feel so self conscious? You take your shirt off, and we're all just like, damn, dude, like he is jacked. jacked. Fuck, yeah. like yeah, he's, jacked. He's a beautiful tatted, man. Yeah, yeah." He's Fully tatted too. Beautiful man. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I've known him such a long time. He's really good friends with my older brother. We used to all skate together back in the day. And like his mindset for skating and just like ollieing big shit and trying to kickflip the biggest thing he could, like that was like what really 
got me stoked to like huck as much as I could as a little kid. Like he really like instilled that within my mind. And the fact that he's like one of my oldest friends, one of my oldest friends in life and skate friends, you know, I just, I really, he's family to me. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. We were just, we were having a solo sesh. We went to uh Shelltown park. Cause he really yep. likes that park. And he wanted to film some clips for his birthday. So we went there super early before we met up with all the other dudes. Um, and I got a text from Mikey while we were skating Shelltown, and he just said like, "Yo, have you seen this?" And it was a photo, and half of it is me laying down on the ground, it's a photo of me, and then the other half is me doing a kickflip wall ride at the spot in Riverside. Is it a two-page spread or yeah. is it just one page? Spread? It's two page. Two the page. The photo spread. that he sent you was a photo of an open magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And half of it was you on the ground. It, half of it was you skating. Exactly. Um, and I and Kick I was front side ball right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But I was shocked too because I, like, again, I had no idea that this was gonna happen. I didn't like no one had told me, and it was a complete surprise. Uh, and he kind of broke the news to me, and he was like, "Yeah, he's like, sorry if I wasted the surprise on you, but like, fucking <laughs> here it is. Here it is, man. You know now." And I was just like, "Holy shit!" And so to find out in that moment, where it's like I'm skating with one of my best friends, who kind of instilled this aspect of skateboarding into my life and we got to find out together and it was just us in that moment it was it was awesome like i was just like daniel look at this like is this real like is this fucking happening like are you fucking kidding me you know it it just uh yeah man i i I was over the moon i was so stoked uh and i still am i just yeah I, i fucking can't believe it man i'm so honored to be a part of such a legendary company and it holds a much it just holds such a special place in my heart from growing up in San Diego. And yeah, I really uh I don't know, man. I'm just honored. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to continue to do my friends proud and myself proud and just push myself as much as I can because I love skateboarding and I will never stop no matter what. Sponsored or unsponsored, I mean I've been in it this long and I, I just care about it so much and I want to continue the best I can every time I step onto my board and that's, Fuck that's yeah. that yeah Fuck yeah, <clears throat> dude I think that's super dope um, yeah to be a part of Zero and to I don't know just really Fuck, that's so gnarly, bro. Like, to, if you really think about it, the fact that you're part of Zero, like, you're part of that that history of, like, yeah. Greco, Eric Ellington. Yeah. Fucking all, all my favorite skaters that I grew up idolizing as a kid, yeah. all the people that influenced the way that I skate and how I wanted to see myself skating yeah. as an adult. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's yeah. just, it, it's nuts, man. I really, like, yeah. I'm st- and, and the craziest part, too, was... So Mikey told me that we found out together. I told Daniel at that point, we were the only people that knew. And then I went out and skated with Kurt and Dane and Vinny and Adam and like all everyone. But I didn't say anything when I went out to, me- to meet up with them. Cause you know, it's like they weren't going to say anything and I didn't say anything either. So I, that was honestly kind of the coolest part where it was just like, it still got to just be a surprise. And I kind of got to like know what had happened, but we were all just skating together like we would any other Saturday and that was the coolest feeling to just like kind of knew like I I I know what happened, but I didn't have to say anything in that moment. And I just still got to experience it and internalize it. And I really think that made it even more special. Um, we even we even talked about this, though, a, a couple a couple of days ago. We're like, wait, so you have like you have the ad, but are you on the team? And right. it was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I, and I had multiple people hit me up too because they were like, "What does this mean? Are do, are you? Do you ride for them? Yeah, like, what on, what is going on? Are you like, on for, on? I don't know. If if they're paying for an advertiser <laughs> in Thrasher, I would say you're on the fucking team. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would say so too. Yeah. yeah, and it didn't even say introducing, which means like you've that's, been on, dude. Like that's you're what part I said. Of the to, family. That like, is what yeah, I you said. You skate to with these dudes every week, and they love you, and you love them, and like oh yeah, and absolutely. You put in work for them, and they they recognize that. Yeah, be closer than yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get up in there. Get Sorry, up. Get dude. all up in that ass, dude. Um, <laughs> No, but I'm like I'm really proud of this bathroom. fool for doing that. Thank you, man. Obviously, you've put in all the work in like 
multiple video parts and you've been going hard over the last like two years year and a half and it's fucking paid off you know like i've been there through all this of you just like getting hooked up with companies and um kind of getting passed by and you're finally getting the acknowledgement you deserve so fucking thank you cheers, man. dude. thank you so much but it's yeah i mean it's also the one thing that I've been trying to keep in perspective, especially regarding that statement, is just like, you know, it doesn't matter when it happens, right? No. It's just as long as, like, if you have love for something and you continue to go and you continue to grind for it, like, it doesn't matter when it happens. It's just as long as it happens, you know? Yeah. Like, and it's all skateboarding, you know? It's yeah. Just, it's skateboarding in itself is, it's, it's like a silly thing, you know? But we put yeah. a lot of merit into all these companies and all these skaters and it's really cool to see things like that happen. So it, it, it back in the day used to be like, Oh, if you're not pro by the time you're 20, like right. you're done. Right. But nowadays you see fucking Reynolds at like 45 fucking front side flipping 10 stairs or whatever. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't man. And I, and I think, um, to have that mindset and to move forward with that, is just so poignant because I, I think again, the timing of everything, it couldn't have come at a better time in my life. Like I really think that this is a point where, you know, I had always invested my time and energy into skating and given it a lot of my focus and attention, but I was always kind of invested in other things simultaneously. You know, like I went to college for four years and I was working a lot of jobs. And then there was a couple years where I fucked off and really wasn't doing much except partying and, and kind of skating once a month. And, you know, I, I reflect back on those times and, you know, I can look back and say, Oh, you know, that was such a bummer that I just kind of, you know, subdued my own progression and I didn't fully give everything I had. But again, it's like the fact that I had enough people in my corner, like people like, like Vinny, I mean, he just always was like, dude, like, keep going like you can fucking do this like you got this shit and to have people like that to just fully be like you know we support you like we want you to do stuff and the same with dane like hey man like we we've seen that you're paying for zero boards you don't pay for boards anymore like we're gonna give you boards and i'm just like no like you guys don't have to do that like i want to support my friends i want to support the brand that i love and the people that work for the brand and it's something that i care about and he's like no no no, no. like you don't pay for this anymore. Like we're going to hook you up. And it's just, That's it's so dope. Yeah. And it's just, and it's stuff like that where it's like, I never expected anything a in my head. I was just like, I'm just going to go out and skate and do what I do when I can and try my best and just see what happens. And the fact that I was embraced for doing that and it, it happened all organically, you know, like nothing ever felt forced. Nothing ever felt like there was any added pressure. It was just trying to do what I would do normally out skating with my friends and I'm, I'm really happy that it happened in the way that it did. Uh, and I, I'm just, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm just so grateful for all of it. That's dope. That's dope. Dude, I will say it's been quite the trip, um, seeing you do this because it, uh, on top of the skating, you, you're in a band. <laughs> oh yeah. You're in a band. Uh, and have you heard of my band called lice? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't, I've never heard of them. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have like a shirt a though. Soft jazz band. It's yeah, like, it's yeah, yeah, something flute. like that. It's like jazz, jazz flute, flute. Right? Yeah. Just like Ron Burgundy. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I went to a show of yours. Uh, oh, I was so stoked. At Till Two, is that what? Ah, uh, where's that tower? Tower bar. Yep. Tower bar. Sorry. My favorite. And my favorite place to play shows. I brought my friend Kristen from Australia, and she came with me, and we were like kicking it. And we like we sat up at front, and then at the end of the show, we fucking go to sit down, and like you are we like we're like cruising cruising about the back of the like the front of the bar, and then we see you, Derm, <coughs> and Chris Cole. And it was like, you wave me over, we sit down, and I'm just like sitting there like, what the fuck, like it's Chris Cole, <laughs> like, and Ruben's just like buddies with this full and then like we're just cruising with him like while you're like like doing your thing that's my guy yeah that's your guy and hey, it's like he's, i know he's, that's your boy but it's still like my 13 year old self maybe even like 15 uh -oh. we'll say up to 18 yeah but like uh, shit me now um, but like even like a younger version of myself i'll just be like oh my god 
Yeah. yeah. I told, I remember telling Kristen, I looked at her, I was like, that guy right there. I was like, she's like, yeah, <laughs> who's that? And it was like, are they Australian accent? I was like, that's Chris Cole. He's pretty much one of the best skaters on the planet. And I was like, he has a lot of followers. He's <laughs> fucking pretty dope. <laughs> and she was like. To say the least. Yeah, to say the least. And she's like, Really? Uh, who is it again? Can I send it to my friends? <laughs> no fucking clue. No fucking clue. But the reason I'm telling this story is because of the fact it was like you. When I see you skating now and I like who you're skating with, it's like you're, you're skating with sodies. You're skating with yeah. some of the gnarliest motherfuckers to ever touch a board. Yeah. And those are your boys. I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, these are the dudes you're going to go to war with. And these are the dudes who are going to witness you go to war. Yeah. And that's just a trip because it's like you, you are a reflection of the people you surround yourself with. Right. Absolutely. So your team is like these gnarly motherfuckers. So like, yeah. you come in here and you do your fucking lawyer work or whatever <laughs> at the coffee shop. But then like on your skateboard, you're like one of the gnarliest dudes ever. Like it's fucking such a trip. Yeah, but it's but it's just so humbling because it's exactly what you said. It's it's just all about having your friends back and that being reciprocated because like the amount of effort that Dane will put in for his friends to make a spot skatable, like the amount of times he's like taken out a pole or swept something vigorously in order for us to skate or literally anything like he is the most resourceful dude that I know on a skate session like That's he'll he'll skate blocks and find plies of wood in dumpsters to make run up for things like he's that type of dude like he'll pick locks to make a spot skatable like he really is super crafty and he's just so motivated to help his friends out and being around that kind of energy is just so rad because you're like dude I do the same for you like I will I like I might not be as crafty and resourceful as you are, but I'll watch for cars or I'll clean up a spot. Like I'll 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 fucking put a sign down. Like literally, like whatever you need, man. Because it's like when someone like that steps in, and they, you know, they don't have to do that, right? Like no, like nobody has to like care that much. But the fact that those dudes would like literally do anything for me to help me get a clip and vice versa, it's just like that type of energy is, is incredible on a session. I mean, it's yeah. just, uh, and like, yeah, not to brag, like our, you know, our crew is fucking great. Like we care about each other a lot, like, and more just about skating. It goes beyond that. Like we're all friends and like very like minded. And, and I think that translates through our skating as well and helps elevate what we're trying to do because like yeah. we can have fun. We laugh on a session. We work hard for things like, you know, all of those things are happening simultaneously when we're skating. It's not just shut up uh, blah, blah, like real, you know, broed out skate sessions like which, you know, and I feel bad for most people because like they don't get to experience the type of things that we do when we get to go out and skate. And I really mean that wholeheartedly. I mean, like our we have such a solid squad and I again i'm just so lucky that i get to skate with these dudes that are the best in the world that have been sodies and somehow think like hey man like we want you a part of our crew we want you involved in what we're doing and hey, to you and, can sit with us right right you can sit with us Ruben. right and it's just like <laughs> like to me it's just I, I, yeah i mean it still feels unreal That's but so dope. but like yeah i mean they're i i've i've you know i'm just so grateful and and happy that I can call those dudes my friends on and off the board, and uh, I'm about to go to Barcelona on a trip with them, and it's gonna be dope. I can't wait. Tu eres muy agradecido. Sí. Eh, now you're going to fucking Barcelona with the zero team. Yeah, crazy. To get some tricks. Yeah. Um, I won't get into like why you're getting those tricks, but. <laughs> um, well. He's Guys, working. He's working on a he's part. He's working on some stuff. He's working on a part, and he's gonna he's gonna um, do some cool shit. And I'm then, gonna, like, yeah. I mean, you didn't just get an ad for no reason. You know what I'm saying, son? Like, yo, what's poppin'? Yeah, yo. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the best I can. I mean, I'm I'm excited knowing that I'm going there with the same crew that I would skate any weekend, whether we're gallivanting up north or we're just keeping it local. It's like whatever we're doing. The fact that I'm going out there with those dudes, it's like, it, it's going to be the same energy we already have, but just in another country, and it's going to be great. Do and you, I've never been, so I'm excited. But you, uh, you already uh, hablas español. Sí. Sí, muy bien. Does anybody else speak Spanish? Kurt does. 
Kurt kills Does it. Kurt actually speak Spanish? Yeah. This is this oh, no. is yeah. Oh yeah yeah. I talked to Dane about this the other night. We skated we skated Vista Park and he's like, oh, Kurt crushes when he's out there. Really? Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. He's I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. like, I've all all, like, all goes back to him being the best. Fucking Hodge is the goddamn best. He really is. I he's fucking goat. love you, Hodge. And if he's mad because I called him out earlier, just know I love you still. <laughs> You're the fucking best. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get another beer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or actually. You want one of these? No, I cannot <laughs> drink another one of those. I cannot <laughs> drink another one of those. I need like a fucking beer. Like, yo, real oh, quick. Yeah. Oh, We're going to pause. Yeah. We're going to pause. Hold on. We're going to pause. <laughs> We're going to pause. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Hold on. Time we have, by the way? We're at uh, hour 21. Oh, sick. Okay. okay. And we're back. Dude, you can't say that word, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? You say what word? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> what word did I say? What did I say? He's talking about eating ass again, dude. Oh, <laughs> I did say eating ass. Pretty <laughs> tough. Yo, I just texted Lucy, and I was like, yo, we shouted you out tough. Or I DM'd her, and she was like, oh, shit. Like, yo, I was like, yo, we got to get you on the show. Shout out Lucy Love. Shout out Lucy Love. I don't know you, but shout out. <laughs> I don't know you, but shout out. Dude, okay. Hit her up on Hinge. Um, <laughs> no, stop it. It's not like that. Like Bumble. That. No, 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 no. No, it's not like that no more. No, no go, last. No go, last. See, go see one of her comedy I'm shows. i other people, not I'm you. talking about fucking going to see comedy shows. Yeah. Nick. Get your mind out of the gutter. God Listen, damn it. he's about to be married soon. He's just letting it all out now. He's living vicariously through his single friends. It's it makes true. sense. I, I never it makes got sense. the dating app experience, so I don't know. Me You're neither, not dude. Too much. I'll tell you one. You're not yeah, too much. I, the only time I ever used a dating app, uh, I I literally had maybe a three paragraph correspondence and this was back and forth with Three one paragraph. Well, that's a lot not, <laughs> no no, no. Well, like, well let me sorry let me rephrase you essays over here no, no 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 like like three three paragraphs collectively like i wrote a response she wrote a response i wrote a response and then nothing ever came are we of talking it? about a paragraph in terms of like a paragraph is a sentence or a paragraph is three sentences it's a short paragraph i mean so like a, a twofer is yeah, two for, like, we can. Was we, like, in, uh, my day was great. <laughs> How was in, yours? Incantation. It, it's uh, my day was great. How was yours? Right, right, right. That's one sentence plus a question. That's a paragraph. Again, I'm an old. <laughs> I'm an old man. Uh, this was this was many years ago. Dude, if you're an old man, I'm fucking Asian. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean it. I am not I mean that it, old. I mean it in the sense. I mean it in the sense of technology. Like I, I, I keep things very simple. I only have Instagram. I can't keep up with. Everything else, I don't have the bandwidth. Multiple platforms. I can't. Uh, multiple platforms. I can't do it. Yeah, it's okay. just it's too it's overwhelming for me, um, and that is exactly how I felt at the time when I decided to get a Tinder, and this was Tinder. Fucking six years Nobody's ago. I don't know. Tinder. Yeah, I know. It was, but that's how much I know. Like two years ago. Like what an amateur. Like <laughs> like yeah. Like you use Tinder. Fucking you don't know about Bumble and Hinge and all these Bumble other dope Hinge apps. Like I don't know any of that shit. I'm okay, not. Bumble that's in not Latin me. America, Bumble in Latin America. Hinge in the United States. Let's talk about that. Yes. Let's talk about that. You got experience with Bumble in Latin America, dude. In Latin America, <laughs> let's I talk about it. Son, I clean up. Tough. Oh really? <laughs> where yes. where exactly? I'm talking uh, Guadalajara. Oh, so Jalisco, just so recently. Tijuana, that's why you're in Mexico. So recently week. then. Yeah, see you that de Mexico. Anywhere in Mexico, I'm all right. That explains Bro. all these Mexico no, trips. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're that just is, in Mexico three times uh, a week no, just for false. Bumble. I, I am definitely in Mexico <laughs> twice a week for sure, but there's literally no dating going on. I'm being 100% honest. The only reason I do full it is it's, it's, it's full disclosure. It is definitely more of like a fucking, uh, it's a fucking like mood booster. That's like why you learn Spanish. Booster. No. <laughs> Aprendo uh, Espanol porque uh, yo quiero uh, me me mejorando. I want to be getting better. Uh, mi Espanol si. with farmers. I don't know what to say farmers. Campesinos. Campesinos. Uh, yo quiero me mejorando. Uh, campesinos. Con campesinos. In el café. Should we finish this in Spanish? It's no. no, no, <laughs> no, no it no, would no, be no. practice <laughs> for me to go. Yo, yo necesito practicar mi español uh, todos los días, pero uh, it's not that good right now. It's getting better for sure. It's like mejorando for sure. Like, yo, <laughs> like. Uh, but it's not there, and like I'm like I my Spanglish is like top notch for sure, but 
I want to be better because of the connection. And that's, <clears throat> that's 100% why I did it. Uh, when it comes to, dude, there was some crazy number that got put out recently. <coughs> Excuse me. That was 90% of the coffee world speaks Spanish. 90 fucking percent. Yeah, think about that. And they don't. <coughs> that means, okay, I don't know the number of people who speak English, like who are bilingual, or they fucking, um, they, they can speak another language or a dialect or whatever. But for me, uh, I, you know, being of Hispanic culture and her heritage, mm -hmm. I, I didn't sp grow up speaking Spanish. I didn't. I've been speaking Spanish for roughly about going on seven years and I'm okay, but it's getting better within the last six months specifically. Yeah. I had uh, an ex-girlfriend who was from Tijuana and I've had like multiple friends who are from Mexico and they fucking, my, my roommate is, you know, Mexican as well. So he speaks fluent, fluent Spanish. So everybody's helping me out. So it's getting there. I even asked Ruben today about invitados, bebidos, bebidos y el café in Mexico. Coffee, beverages in Mexico? It's like all the guests drinking my ca my coffee in Mexico. Tight. I don't which say me, my coffee. Wh which, one, the coffee. which one specifically? Just uh, other ones that you have? Uh, well, in, in Quito Libre Cafe in Tecate, Mexico, they are drink they, they buy all my coffee. They buy Hell the yeah. Notorious, they buy the Morning Sesh, they buy the Issa Blend. Sick. Right now, in if you go to Quito Libre Cafe in Tecate, Mexico, it's they have the Issa Blend on um, Espresso. Okay. And they have a kilo it. of it right now. Shout out to so, Kate. Yo, shout out to Kate. Shout out Kilo Libra. Shout out Luis. We got to uh, go down there. Dude, dude, we love can to. go skate. We can go yo. skate anytime. And like, oh, I got the restaurants. Like, I won't say it on like uh, El Restaurantes. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, we fucking Los, el, uh, los el, uh, Restaurantes. I got multiple spots. Like, Ooh. I won't say it right now because like, I feel like people are going to fucking. Bro, I saw something on TikTok where like people were talking about the CBX and like showing a video about how to get to CBX if you don't speak Spanish and like how do you like you just like get around from Tijuana and like you like fly through Mexico, and it's like, as a skateboarder, I'm like, ah, that's kind of whack. <laughs> yeah. Like not. I think you like. I feel like you got to pay your dues a little bit. Like you got to speak a little bit of Spanish, just a little bit. Yeah. You don't got to be a gnarly. Or be with someone. <laughs> For sure. Or be with doing. somebody yeah. to be able to get that privilege to like walk around and like do the easier path. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, I won't front like I'm like the best Spanish speaker. I'm still very, very new. Like I'm a little kid. Like my Spanish is very basic. Uh, it's getting better. But Ruben is fucking way better at Spanish than I am. Like, <laughs> straight up. like real talk. Real talk. But like. I love it and I love to go down there and it's part of who I am and that's why we went to Guadalajara like uh, my family is from Jalisco so I I went and I wanted to feel it I wanted to get a feeling for what it was like to be like a Mexican in that area and I'll tell you what what a great experience man dude 100% yeah. like uh, for same thing for her, Ray 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 Ray's family is from Jalisco <coughs> and um, I will say it was the one thing I can take away from that trip was that like I'd never seen so many white people speaking Spanish other than from when I was in Spain mm -hmm. and it was a trip and I have to say like you know Jalisco es Mexico like that's like the slogan of the state right is is the birthplace of mariachi music it's the birthplace of tequila it's the birthplace of like a lot of things that are Mexican or Mexico is known for I should say yeah and to be there and just to kind of experience it and to be a part of it was, it was an experience, you know, it was <laughs> fucking dope. And we saw all of Guadalajara in all its entirety. We even gotten a sketchy, we gotten three sketchy situations out of four days, like people trying to like possibly jump us or people trying to like just fucking take us for the ringer. And Damn. It, and, but it was like, it was so fucking dope, dude. Like, <laughs> I got a Chivas jersey. I got a couple. Chivas you got a Chivas jersey, jersey? I got sick. Both, Yo, both Chivas jerseys. I used to. Dude. I used to play for uh, 
a Chivas team, little like little league soccer team. Did you really? Oh yeah, of course, dude. Fuck, yeah. I was the only Jewish kid on the team. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Um, Still speaking Spanish. Hundred percent. Well, that's yeah, dude. That's like how I like a lot of that was like how I learned Spanish as a kid. Dude, that's so was like dope. being on a soccer, like being on a soccer team as a kid, and like growing up and playing at Rosa Parks and City Heights. Yeah. Fucking. Damn, you're deep North Park, and you're playing in City Heights. Yeah, back dude. In the day yeah. When it was still hood, mm-hmm. bro. When we went to City, we went to Cafaina. So Andrew, shout out to Andrew Benavides. He's the owner of Ca- uh, Cafaina, uh, a cafe over yeah. in City Heights. You just mm-hmm. had him on. Just right? had him on the podcast. Mm-hmm. He grew up in City Heights. But when me and Ray Ray went over to go see his cafe, I was like, yo, where the fuck is this cafe, bro? And, like, we're walking around. I'm like, bro, this is some hood-ass neighborhood right here. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is, the sh- this is the shit they don't talk about in San Diego. It straight up looked like L.A. Like, in parts of Mexico. Like, if you go, like, you go to certain parts of Mexico, that's what it looks like. And I was like, damn, we're in the hood right now. I'm like, yo, you got to be careful when you're walking around here. Like, you got to be ready. Like, you got to let somebody know you're going to the hood. But, like, that's what it was. <clears throat> and I'm not hating. I'm saying this in a sense where it's, like, like, in a really weird way, I almost take pride in it because it's, like, oh, like, I'm part of this. I don't speak the language completely, but, like, I grew up in this. Like, this is, like, how I grew up. This is what I'm used to, but it's just different. And it's, yeah. like, in a different part of the state, and it's a different part of, like, and, and the more you go to Mexico, you start to recognize, like, certain things if you will yeah well i don't know hey to that sentiment this is a random thing i'm going to bring up but uh when i used to live in the east bay when i lived in oakland nickel dime baby that's right uh when i used to live up there i took uh i think it was a lift ride or an uber ride and i was sitting in the back of an uber with this older gentleman that's you know from the east bay and we were just talking about how everything was changing in the neighborhood and like you know how shit was you know, getting gentrified from what he was used to as a youth. But he said something that I, that has always stuck with me, and it's exactly what you were just talking about right now. He said, the hood is the earth. The hood is the earth, right? So it's like everything you're saying about how, like, shit that you recognize in parts of Mexico that you visited and how you see that, and it's reminiscent in certain parts of City Heights or L.A. or Oakland. It's like, yeah, man, like, the hood is the earth. It's the salt of the earth, like where you come from and where you are in the hood. It's like, that's the representation of the reality that we're living in. And it's being experienced in a sense that, you know, it goes beyond just our day to day. Like people all around the world are experiencing the same things that we are. And I fucking love that. Like I was just like, it's so exactly. It's just exactly. Dude, you know what? It's crazy. (coughs) And like, this isn't to single you out. Shields suck. But Ruben was on a trip with me. He he like met my grandmother. Oh like, what? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. when like, you guys went to Oakland? When or we went to, yeah. When yeah, we went man. To the Bay Area, dude. I, I was seven. That. I was seventeen. That's 17? your best fucking podcast episode ever. Thank you. With <laughs> your grandmother, <laughs> dude. Pox. Go listen so to that if you haven't grandma. already. Yo, shout it's out. Fucking so amazing. Good. Yo, shout out. R.I.P. I love you so much, Grandma. I miss you every day. R.I.P. Um, Otilia, you're the best. Uh, La mejor. Um, but. Uh, yeah, you met my grandmother. And, mm-hmm. like, that was, like, he went to the house that, like, I kind of, like, essentially grew up in, in Fremont. Fremont's, like, the ha- it, it got ranked now. This is the happiest, like, city or town in, like, California or some <laughs> shit. Like, what? Weird. Like, yeah, it's super weird. Yeah. And, like, when we went to my grandmother's house, like, we didn't go in or nothing. Like, we just saw her, like, out front and shit. But, like, she came out and, like, met all the boys inside of the van and stuff. And it was just like in this little, like little, so like little corner section of like a street, like the street goes down and like it curves and like her house was right where it curved. But like, dude, my grandmother, like it was crazy. Like that house that you saw Ruben, like, yeah, she, she thought she made it, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, and she came from like a small ass town, like, uh, in, te- in, in Texas, Mm. And the family that I had from over there, like she was, I think she was born here which from what she told me. But then all of the rest of the family was like Veracruz, Jalisco, like Mexico. But she had knew all that. And uh, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy, like to go back now and to, to, to really experience Mexico and see like, 
I sound so stupid when I say it out loud. No, like, no, no. It's not like speak your truth, I, King. I Come like on. I yeah, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Speak your speak your truth, King. <laughs> uh, you know, like, uh, like when I went, I I went on like an origin tri- uh, origin trip type shit. Like, I wanted to see if there was gonna be a connection to the area mm-hmm. because I feel like uh, on some level, like maybe there's a part of me that like there's some like DNA in there that like feels like yo you've already been here yeah you know, you know in a weird yeah. way like yeah and i did when we were in when we were in guadalajara i was like i was like damn this kind of feels like it feels like san diego it feels like home like it's 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 super dope tight you know and people were res- like reciprocating the vibes and good times and just talking to us and like it felt familiar yeah it felt familiar in a really really weird uh, weird way yeah and, but the best way possible mm-hmm. and uh i don't know man I, I i i definitely love mexico like me encanta mexico uh like para siempre like for sure like i don't know it's just like there's just so much more to explore and there's just so much more to do and I don't know. I think being Mexican is just like the dopest shit ever. Like, yeah, you know, it's like, it's so yeah. fun, you know, em- embrace your heritage. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Beautiful, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. I think it's super dope. And like, and that's why I changed my Instagram name. Over. <laughs> <Mazel> tov, <laughs> to be, a, to be a Jew. That's right. You yes. know, but we were talking about this the other day. Like Cardenas. you do for like, Cardenas. <laughs> see, Alonso Cardenas. Mexican as fuck, son. Damn. That's the first time I've ever heard your middle name. I swear. Alonso. Dude. That's Alonso. that's a good name. How do you say Conovision in Spanish? Conovision. <laughs> Con, 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 Get that on your license plate. Bro, I like I said this earlier Vanity. on the podcast, but it was like, <laughs> dude, I know. I know. It was Cono's like, license plate used to say Conovision. It was the worst. Uh, it was the worst. I I, hey, I don't have regrets, but that one is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a shaking my I'm head, here to remind like, you yeah, yeah, forever. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I we, appreciate lo- that. we love Cono. Like, what, we love him. Ford Gracias, amigos. I, uh, Some yo sort aprendo. of truck. I, no, I, uh, yo, yo soy agradecido. I am grateful. <laughs> <laughs> like a Dude. Ford Forerunner or no, something? No, it was what? a fucking Chevy Avalanche. <laughs> Don't You know what it was, Nick. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I drove that. I drove you to the house where you broke your ankle in that truck. Shut the fuck up. Don't act like you don't know, you Shields. Don't act like you don't know, Shields. Fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Mentiroso. Mom, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, am I really about to crack another Dude, one of these? Crack another one. Oh, man. This is Dude, dangerous. I have we a beer. set a record for podcast length. On no, Cafe not yet. Oh, not where yet. are we at? Are we're we at? What at, at hour 38. Yo. What? what? Oh, we're, we're about to wrap it up. <laughs> That's it's insane. almost it's almost like we've done this three times now. It's almost like and and it's felt he so said an natural. Hour and Twenty like an hour wait, ago. Wait 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 <laughs> wait wait. I have a question. What's the question? Okay, so you're going to Barcelona. Is there a spot you want to skate that yes. you've been like? Is, yes. is it manual pads? Is the is the bump over bar? Are you? Did you it? just really ask me if I'm skating <laughs> manual pads on yes. a zero trip? I'm just hey, I'm just asking. You just ask him if there's a spot he wants hey, to skate creature, in Barcelona. Hey, creature has street skaters now. Just remember that. I <laughs> hey, just I remember that. that. Yo, fair. Are fair. any of them skating manual pads? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I, I okay. Um, so Ruby's gonna be at parallel. Yeah, <laughs> for ten. My days. my goal is to really go out there and just spend the entire week doing an NBD manual Kick trick. Kickflip knows many shows. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the you week, on the, the weakest manual trick to ever be done I there. I want to see yeah, you yeah. on the nine that would club be a battling for Chris Roberts. Oh, no. He's going to be like, oh, did you see a switch kickflip uh, yeah, kick yeah, yeah. Manny? And be like, yeah. on the Santa Cars, uh, What's Santa the nine Monica, club? blah, 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 blah. <laughs> What's the nine club? Yeah, good question. Wow. What is the nine club? <laughs> Hate, that's hate, funny. Hate, 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 hate. That's funny. Um, no, that's a great question, Kano. I am a, I'm a nerd, so I did my research because Vinny told me before going on this trip, he was like, hey, like, do your homework. Look at spots that you want to skate. Try to have a plan. Have a photo. Yeah, and that's honestly, I'll say this much right now. I'm going off on, a, on another short tangent, but I will say to any skater... At any point, wherever you're at, skill level, uh, if you hop in the van, if you're just going out with your friends, have a plan, dude. Have a backup plan. Have things in mind that you want to skate 
be yes. goal oriented. Yes. Don't be the dude when they ask you what you want to do. Say, oh, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. Like literally, it it goes a long way to be confident. And I know that it's nerve wracking sometimes when you're like, oh, hey, sorry, Chris Cole, I want to go skate this obscure wall ride spot that you may or may not be into, but I have a trick in mind for it. Like, <laughs> like. That that's sounds such absurd. A, that's that's such not, a specific experience. It's but it, it, no, but it's I true. Like, no, I know. And that, I'm right, speaking right. from the heart. Well, they say that know? in like a, in I don't know some Phelps thing right. where it's like he just said like always have an answer. Hundred percent. What do you want to listen to? Rock and roll. What do you want? Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Bank. Because you know? because it just goes a long way if if you can show that like you are confident in yourself and you know what you want like people will pick up on that and respect you for that and don't ever feel like you have to shy away for speaking up for the things that you want to do is the best advice I can give. So with that being said, Vinny gave me a bunch of advice. He was like, yeah, like I've been here before. I've gone out there with these dudes, uh, have a list of spots you want to skate. So I just fucking was like, all right, I'm going in. Like I watched so much shit. I watched, you know, old zero videos. I watched dying to live for certain Barcy spots. I watched Tyler Surrey parts. Like I, I, I really like I watched. Oh, yeah, dude. Yes. I, I like I went. I, I really tried Speaking to. Speaking of Manny Pets. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's like right. No, it's not a well, stupid question. it's not a stupid question. <laughs> but but he but I watched Gustav Donison. Right. <laughs> oh, that dude that rips. You need to do that dude rips. Lib, like sh- like pretzel way shove it. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. And none of pretzel shove. Yeah. Like, and none of and none of that is no hate because like i appreciate none of that is hate no i none like i appreciate all forms of skateboarding e- anything that anyone does on a board that's done well with style and poise i'm fucking into like it doesn't matter what you're doing i'm down for it and sorry is the best yeah 100 percent. aside from everybody else here. right but sir and and sorry skates everything and that's also why i was like oh maybe he's gonna have some deep cuts as far as spots that he skates dude hit up merrick Oh, I will. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, you're there. Hit For up sure. Too. I will. Absolutely. Yeah. I saw him uh, when I was in uh, Copenhagen a few years ago. Yes. And then I saw him in Berlin because the Copenhagen Pro extended out there. So we got. I got a photo with him that Squid took, that Steven Levos took. Oh, and it's of me and Merrick, shit. and I was so hyped. And then I took a photo of them together. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, going off on tangents, we're just side talking side about homies because skateboarding is the sickest. And oh, you meet out. people from all over the world. Um, anyway. Uh, I do have some spots in mind I want to skate. Uh, there's a spot that uh, Evan Smith skates. He does a kickflip front wall ride on a glass wall ride. It's a I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, there you go. So if anyone's familiar with that clip, uh, I really want to go to that spot because I may or may not have a trick of mind for it. I could also go there may and be like... Not. Are you frontside or backside going to that? It would be backside for me because he's goofy uh, and I'm regular. Okay, um, okay, okay. So, are you okay, regular? Club nose I am regular. Are you really? I really am. Me and you are the same stance, son. That's Explain why we're so similar. Dude. I know. Fuck out of here. That's why you're my. That's why we're, we're doppelgangers, we're doppelgangers, dude. Gangers. We are. It's no 100%. backside 180 back foot flip, Manny. No, no it's Pines. not. No, 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 Sh- no, shout, no, shout out no, Animal no, Style. No, Come on, shout out man. Animal Style, I, dude. I that's that's. Kano is a beast. Way. If you haven't looked up Kano Cardina skateboarding, stop. yeah, you may know him. You may know him no. now. No. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, our, our friend. We're talking about it? Ruben. Okay, sorry. Talk about Kano. He's amazing. Talk about Ruben. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. Talk more about me. I want to talk more about. I want to talk more about myself. I want to talk more about Ruben. Okay, so okay, what other spots? What so, spots? what else did Kano inspire? <laughs> <you>? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, what so are you gonna you rock kick Evan Smith? Smith. Anyway, oh man, I, knew you're gonna, uh, I might have a rock kick flip. You don't know. You don't know what I got in my bag of tricks. Do, rock do tray a rock flip? tray flip. I was gonna say okay. Dude, do rock tray flip. That's what hey. I mean. do rock tray flip. He might he say. might learn some new <laughs> tricks in Barcy. You never know. He might learn. He's referring to himself in the third person <laughs> without naming himself. He. God gets one L- zero ad and thinks L- he can start talking to himself L- in the third person. What a L- dickhead! S- L S. That's what he says. That's what. He what says. an asshole this he guy is. is. Anyway, <laughs> what his next ad skate? is a rock tray flipping <laughs> bar. If he does that, I would be really no, interested in how that no, no, came no. out. Um. Anyway, um, that's that's probably the most. Uh, iconic spot I can describe in my head. I mean, I have a list of other things that are probably harder to describe or they might sound a little bit more obscure. 
to articulate at this point in time. I, um, I, I only ask. I don't know. I only ask you to articulate because of the fact if anybody follows you on Instagram or if anybody just watches any of your parts. Yeah. Your skating is. We've talked about this. We've talked about this in the shop, actually. Is that like you're on this level of skateboarding that I've for me myself, I never understood and I still don't understand. But I understand now from the standpoint because I don't do it. I see how skaters are doing it now. You have this outside of the box perspective that is really progressive. You one of your last tricks, I believe, was like a fakey big spin like hippie jump to like five oh yeah grind. that was that was in uh fuck this video five shout out vin dog and then you've just landed another trick that you did over that same spot oh yeah yeah we went we went back we, we went back for more blood you went back for more blood and i want i don't want to give it away so it's like i know what trick you did but after you showed me that trick i was like yo how the fuck do you think about skateboarding like this well, and again, it, and I mean, that's, that's my question. No, he's, it's a, he's it's very a good selective, you know, like Ruben doesn't just like do anything like he's got the ability to do much more than what he does. You know, that's, yeah. I, I think that's the appeal to his skateboarding is like, you know, he could do whatever he wants, but he chooses to do the selective tricks in his part. And I think that's the appeal to it. But yeah, I mean your your approach and your mindset on skateboarding you can elaborate more on that no es no no diferente. yeah no i mean wow that is thank you, <laughs> thank you make it you're making me verklempt over here that's uh, uh you know I'm, I'm choked up you're making me speak yiddish over here um wow um, oh wow <laughs> oh wow okay <laughs> oh, wow. wow um <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'll say this much. I mean, I think, I think for anyone, for myself personally, like I've been skating since I was six years old. My brother, Nate got me into skating and I honestly have him to think like I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for him. Um, and I think about that every time I step on my board for real. Um, but I think when you've been in skateboarding for that long, no matter where you're at in your life, you know, certain things can become a little contrived or conventional or you feel like you're kind of stuck in your ways and you, I don't know, like you just want to find something different to like feel creative because that's what skateboarding is about, right? It's like, yeah, man, like people can grind rails and people can jump down stairs and it's like that stuff's always going to be classic. It's always going to be fun and enjoyable. But a lot of this too, I mean, it's not even me taking credit. Like I'm not over here like, I'm not on some like Rodney Mullen type genius shit where I just like go to a spot and like analyze everything and, you know, think about how I want to flip my board. It's like a lot of this is just going to places and then my friends will suggest like, hey, this is kind of weird and interesting. Like this seemed like <laughs> as Dane always says when we go out and skate, he's like, oh, this seems like a pretty Rubeny spot. He always says that, and it always makes me smile because I'm just like, I'm like, do you mean that in a good way, or are you just saying that because I'm not hopping on like? I think it's a good thing. Because it makes no, 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 complex. I, no, it's I know. Like complex. No, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm joking, of course, but I know, like, when he, when he says that, I know that he's like has my best interests in mind. Um, That's super dope, though. Yeah, it's I'd not, rather I'd rather have a complex yeah like, equation yeah than have something that's like super plain and For, it's not well like, exactly. here's a triple kink rail you can five oh right yeah, it's like, which like, it's like maybe if you gave me a million dollars I could try and go back fifteen times and grind a triple kink handrail and like that would feel yeah. fulfilling and I would be stoked if I could do that but again it's like going and skating these certain things where it's like I kind of have this niche. Uh, role in the things I do on my board because it's oh, and a lot of it is often facilitated by my friends. It's like even going back to that spot that you talked about. It's the boys and girls club in Claremont, and uh, I'm telling everybody this because y'all should go and fucking skate there because that spot is magic. Like I've done things there that I never ever th imagined I would do on a skateboard, and Real true, Real and, true. and like put in hours of work to do it. So if you're willing to go there, it's off Claremont Mesa. It's a fun hippie jump spot. 
and it's, it's a bump up. Options. There's there's, OG, so there's so many sure. options. There's so many options. You could you could go over the bar. You can go through it. There's a step on the bottom. You can grind slide. Like if you are willing to put in the time and effort and be patient, like maybe some magic will happen. I'll tell you right now. The, that's some goddamn truth right there. <laughs> the, the, like it's just that's it. Like the the fakey big spin hippie jump five zero that I did for FTV five. Dane suggested that FTV trick. FTV five. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Fuck this video yo, five. Yo, man. You're just like the, the acronyms are insane. There's a lot of them. I'm sorry. I love FTV. That's fucking. I that's the best that. shit. I love that you love that. Yeah, like, man. Yo, that's so dope. That's the best okay, shit. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I get so hyped on that shit. Like, no, yo, get hyped. I don't know Vinny. I met Vinny that one He's time the best. when we were walking He's down the, the fucking walking down the when I met up with you when we were like mm -hmm. walking down that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just actually, for painkiller. For painkiller, pain yeah. Yeah, for uh -huh. the second time. Yeah, man. We were drinking with Q and yep. Vinny. Yep. Those yeah. are my boys. Yeah, FTV was, squad right that there. That was the fucking one time I met Vinny. Yep. And I was just like, yo, I was like, Ruben's tight. He's like, I know that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. That's uh, that's my dogger right there. He's dude, the best. Dude, that's um, so dope. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's just, you know, Go to that spot, you put in the time, you put in the effort, and you just have fun, like, and you have to remind yourself, like, you're trying something that you would never normally do, it's gonna be weird, you're gonna have to struggle through it, but when you do something there, and you walk away with the feeling like, damn, I did not I did not come here expecting to ride away from that trick, but I did it, like, it's a cool fucking feeling, dude. It's like solving a puzzle in real time, where you really just sit and handle it, and you're working through all the mechanics, and you're yeah. doing all that mental math and adjusting your shoulders and how you're moving everything, every little aspect of it. But do you black out when you land the trick? Uh, you black I, out. You're like, holy shit, I just landed. I'm rolling away. For it's sure. like, yo, I'm rolling away. For sure. This is what happened. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. Uh, especially, I mean, yeah, when you're three hours deep battling a trick, yeah, I think I think that's enough for anybody to be like, did I really just do that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, I really, I rolled like, away? Yo, yeah. what the fuck? And then you yeah. gotta watch it. You're like, oh. Yeah. Look, Wait, did it happen? Did it look or am good? I, am did I fucking, good? right. Oh, exactly. Was it legit? 100%. Like, okay, do I need like, to do it again? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 100%, man. But then it's like, it never, yeah. it's never the same after that first one. Yeah. It, absolutely. You know but, saying? but to, uh, in conclusion, um, no, but just going back to the original point, it's like, my my thought process and a lot of those random obscure tricks it's like a lot of that wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the friends on the session suggesting ideas to me for things to do because a lot of it is like oh i could try this i don't know i'm bouncing around all these ideas and kind of like like but that's what makes it so fun it's like chiseling at a piece of marble but you do hard tricks though too so it's like it's even harder i feel like what you do because like you do front heels and you do switch front heels. You do both. And it's like, sorry, this is super skate nerdy. Like, sorry. Get I realize, nerdy. I realize, I realize, get I realize, nerdy. Like, yeah, don't like, apologize. Like, we get it. Like, I, this is like, for, for the listeners, sorry, this is super skate nerdy. But like, you do switch and you do regular. And so, it's I like, try to at least. No, 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 no. You do, you do both. You do both real good. And it's like, when you do those tricks that are super hard to do, but you make them look phenomenal and then like your roll away and then you're watching like how you did it and like you're like damn son like like you're gonna keep it to yourself like because like yo i just see ruben do this shit but, like i ain't gonna tell nobody like maybe <laughs> maybe like the closest homie right? <laughs> maybe like your closest skate homie like yo like i saw ruben do this did you, did you, did you keep, <laughs> keep it low-key keep it low-key did you but like i seen him do this you know like stop making me blush no nah, i'm just saying it's like it's so different now because I mean, it's not even like it's different now. See, the, even as I'm like trying to process this through my head, I'm like, I know if I watched you do a trick, I'd just be like, fuck, that was so gnarly. <laughs> I have to tell somebody. <laughs> Who am I going to tell? I might tell Leov. <laughs> she might give a fuck. She hey, from, from one, but from, I'll tell, I'll from tell one, Shay. From, I'll from tell one Shay Jew to Riley. another, dude. <laughs> from one I Jew do, to another. Or I'll tell like Shay or I'll tell Riley and then I'll just be like, yo, my homie did this shit. I get you gotta step your game up, like yo, or you gotta do like some gnarly shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It just gets me so hyped because, like, I think for me, I've gotten to that level where I get to watch my friends do like the gnarliest shit. It's like, wow, 
you're so gnarly as a human. <laughs> as a human. Yeah. Fuck a person. As a human, you just did some of the gnarliest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, and I'm and you're not even drunk, and I'm like a little tipsy. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, wow. Can we party now? Can we party now that you just did that? Like, that was so sick. Speaking yeah. of partying, let's yeah. What are we doing after this? Well, how are we looking on time? Should we go to Red Wing? All right, is that the plan? <laughs> let's mean, go. It's an hour and fifty five right now. Damn. Oh man, we're like two hours deep. Man, oh, yeah. by the time I do my intros and everything like that, we'll be over two hours. Oh shit, that's what I like. Should yeah, we man. just wrap it right now? Should we go to seek? Should we go get some beer? What a, is there anything <laughs> else you want to talk about before <laughs> we wrap up? I mean, well, I'm good. You can reiterate. Yeah, reiterate. <laughs> yeah, sure. chime in, my guy. We got a shieldless magazine pop up July thirtieth. Sure July thirtieth. Shop. Yeah. Yep. Julio Thirty seventy two. El Cajon. Thirtieth. Trenta de Julio. <laughs> in Espanol, <laughs> y in English, yo, what's poppin'? It's the 30th of July. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Let's what, go. What's the address one more time for the 3072 El Cajon uh, Boulevard. That's I knew three it. Zero siete <laughs> dos El Cajon Boulevard. Hell yeah. Pull up. Bombos. Pull up. Well, you know what I'm saying? Merchandise hey. made DIY style. Let's go. From, we got, from yours truly, yeah. from Shields. We got zines. Let's go. I'll be out front kicking it. Let's Fuck go, yeah. Baby. Ruben will be in Spain getting Ruben will be in Spain. Hey, you better <laughs> FaceTime me when you're fucking doing this, though. Oh, we're going to be on the we gram will, tub. You better. I'll, I'm going to be downing day. cold brew, dude. I'm going to be cool. so I'll be downing. Beers. I'll be downing and brew beers. brew. <laughs> I'll be downing brew brew while I'm out in, there you go. Uh, in the yeah. nighttime. Hey, we can drink beer while you're serving. While, uh, while you're okay. out front. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm having I'm having espresso in beer all day. It's an espresso with slash with water and beer. You know, it's a new vibe. It's yeah. called hey. a, like Cerveza Cafe. You know. Oh saying? shit! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> this is popping. But we're there, um, guys. Um, I I just want to say thank you again. Thank you, Connor. I think we love you, dude. Hey, we love you so much, man. I appreciate you. You uh, you're the man. Yeah. Hey, yo estoy muy agradecido para dos para para. Gracias. Uh, for you too. But I love you guys a lot. Me encanta. And uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, I'm a little drunk. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, I'm dude. having a good hey, time, this, too. This shout was our June shine. This dude. was our victory lap. Yeah. <laughs> shout out uh, Tequila Ranch Water <laughs> yeah. for keeping it real. <laughs> Grassroots. Thank you, June shine. Yeah. It's our time to shine. It's, it's it definitely is, your time man. to shine, guys. And let's it's our time it to going. June shine. Tell you what. Oh, <laughs> our time to June shine. Wow. If they don't sponsor this episode, if you don't I sponsor swear, me, I'm dude. I'm so mad at you right now. I swear. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. And it will not be the last time that you're on the podcast. And we have officially made yes. two hours. Damn. Hell yeah. All right. Connor, rock, nice. kick, flip, go. Rock, kick, flip. I can't do it right now. Come on. I don't have no beer. I have All no right. Beer. Cheers. All right. We love you. Peace. Bye. Te amo. Bye. Yes. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you so much, Ruben. That was amazing. I love that conversation, and it was super, super fun. Guys, if you have nothing to do or if you just like, yo, this is making it your week plan, come through this Saturday, July 23rd at 3072 El Cajon Boulevard. That's right. Shieldless Mag will not be here. Actually, shit. Sorry. It was the wrong day. July 30th. July 30th, Shieldless Mag will be here with Marco Maestoso doing a pop-up all day promoting their brand new zine release. That's right, July 30th. Guys, I am super excited about this. You should come through, support all the homies. And if you can't make it to that day, August 13th will be the grand opening and Shieldless will also be here. We are going to have a latte art throwdown and Ruben is going to be a judge on the on um, that log tower throwdown. So it's going to be a very, very fun time. All the skaters, all the fucking coffee people, everybody come through. That's what's popping. I cannot wait to see all of you out here. And guys, I just want to give it a major shout out and thank you to everybody around the world who is listening to the podcast, who's showing love, who are just, you know, doing the damn thing. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all next week. Peace.